Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all fandoms, welcome to the Tourette's Podcast, episode 30. I'm Tourette's. I'm the Angry Raccoon. I'm Ferret. And we are back for, uh, I guess, kind of a special one, being 30, soon as that's a slightly significant number, to some extent. Hit the big free It's like a monthly thing. To an extent, yeah. To an extent, but yeah, we are back for... um, Kind of the Valentine's Day podcast. I mean, it's it's not going out on Valentine's Day, but it's like we're recording it on Valentine's. Yeah, we are. Um, which so far has turned out to be actually a nice day weather-wise. Yeah. Um, over here nice. it is, and I can see on uh, Tourette's camera it is as well. Oh no, it's not. You're a liar. It's like two degrees out. <laughs> well, it's or, fairly cold up for us still. Oh, yeah. I guess like negative sixteen Celsius. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. It's fucked up. It's really cold. Oh god. And you're wearing just a shirt as well. There's me thinking, oh, it's a nice sunny day. This blizzard's gone. I just had the oven on at 4.50 for like 30 minutes. I, dude, I have a scarf, my jacket, and my beanie over there that I was wearing earlier. Oh, God. And I was just like sweating through them when I was cooking. So I just said, fuck it. Oh, oh God. 18. A negative 18 Celsius. Jeez. Yeah. That's it's up. been quite cold around here. Yeah, but at least it's somewhat got warmer over here. Uh, so... We're back, and um, I guess we're going to start off like we always do, and we're going to talk about anything we've been doing over the last uh, two weeks or so, anything we've been playing, watching, you know, what have you been up to? Uh, Ferret, I believe, don't have anything to say about? No, it's been pretty boring for me, really. I've just been banging out Armour 3 with my mates online. I've just been playing that. It's super fun. Yeah, not much, really. Cool. Um... I'm kind of the same. The only two things I did are going to be in upcoming videos, so I guess you can look forward to these. I played Fallout 4 earlier this week. I played the beginning of it. You're going to see that go up soon, someday, That's cool. <laughs> as part of a new project, and so far it's it's good. It's good for the most part, just for the beginning bit. But Can't wait to see it, then. I'll save the <laughs> yeah. opinions and all that for later on. The other thing I played was the demo for Indivisible, uh, the Kickstarter game we talked about and was, I guess, talked about as well by many people a while ago. I mean, it's Kickstarter. It's by uh, Lab Zero. They did Skullgirls. Right. The demo is really awesome. It's on PS4, so yeah. I would highly recommend playing it. So do you know that? So obviously more people can buy it. Once again, we did a video on it. So I'm gonna reserve all like massive details and opinions for the time being. But it's definitely worth playing. Uh, Tourette's. I believe you have some stuff you want to chat. Yeah, I, it, it's funny because every time I'm on this podcast, I can talk for like an hour about what I've been playing and what I've been watching. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. But no, what I I'll just murder through it. I've been playing a lot of like. Uh, comic book based video games mm-hmm. I, I, I picked uh, Batman Arkham City back up and trying to do all the fucking challenges oh, okay. and that's, oh, and that's yeah. literally killing me <laughs> um, I bought Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 because they were like piss cheap mm-hmm. and I was going through the first one a little bit and it, it seems okay uh, it's got a lot of people on the roster okay um, yeah. care to share anyone in particular that you were surprised about well, I, I like, uh, well, Deadpool was my immediate, like, ooh! <laughs> uh, they got the Carol Summers, Captain Marvel. Um, they've got, oh, and I should say, I don't know if it will be when this podcast come out, comes out, but right now it's on sale uh, on Xbox 360. And it's a thing where it was on sale during like the Christmas one, and I didn't get it. Yeah. Um, because the DLC wasn't out. Like, there's no... Oh. The DLC isn't there anymore. Okay. The day after the sale ended, somebody told me that the DLC is now bundled with the game. Wow. Interesting. That's, yeah. That's pretty smart. That's, some, that's some insider news right here in the podcast. So, obviously, if you listen to this early and you have 360, definitely go get that as soon as it's still dirt cheap, yeah? Uh, it's... I think both of them are 10 bucks each. Versus the forty bucks that they normally that's are. Good. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Definitely good. That's good. Thing. It's like um, uh, when they released the uh, uh, Borderlands um, Handsome Jack edition. I've seen that go for twenty pound, and that is a freaking steal because it comes with both um, Borderlands Two, the the pre sequel, and all the DLC from both games. Not that is a steal <laughs> for twenty pound. Yeah, definitely. you're pretty much robbing them. <laughs> yeah. I still I still need to play the pre sequel. It's worth a play. 
yeah, I feel like it is, especially because of the whole in Claptrap's Mind DLC that I've been... Wait, heard. wait for a price drop. I mean, if you see it for $20, 10 I'd, I'd get it if you have it spare. Gotcha. But um, I believe there's also a film that you've seen which you want to talk about, not giving away any spoilers. <laughs> well, I would love to give away spoilers, but I ain't that type of guy. Uh, real fast, though, speaking of Borderlands, I've been playing a little bit of Borderlands 2 with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Because she and I played through Borderlands 1, and she loved it. Awesome. She's not super digging Borderlands 2 at this point. Why not? Oh, no. I don't know. She There's something missing for her. There was a... There was, like, a... There was a... There was that little, like, glimmer or something from Borderlands 1 that magic. she's feeling in Borderlands mm. 2. We're still in, like, the whole snowy area. Mm. Okay. Uh, we we were, like, on our way to go beat the shit out of Boom Boom, if mm -hmm. you guys remember that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and... Then she was just like, I'm not super digging it. I was like, okay, we can stop for a little bit, and then we can uh, pick it back up later. Maybe, a, a, like, a little bit of freshness will help. Maybe. Um, oh, and then I've been also playing Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 and Charlie Murder. Okay, yeah. Um, I know Force Unleashed 2 was, was, like, one of the last games LucasArts published, I believe, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, which is a bit of a shame, because they were going to... Well, they still might do... <laughs> The thirteen thirteen game. They also still might do a Dead Maul game, which I'm super excited about. Dead Maul, who's that? Or Darth Maul. Oh, okay. Like, Sorry, I've got Deadpool on the brain. <laughs> That's the movie I've seen. I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, yeah, and um, Charlie Murder. I remember that was a uh, Xbox Live summer game at some point. I remember. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty thirteen. Mm. You and like it? Was it was one of those things. The game with gold. Um, like the free game if you have gold on xbox 360 for the first part of february mm -hmm. was a game like that like a castle crashers as type of game and i 100 percent that pretty quickly mm -hmm. and then i was like man i should play more of this and then i was like which which games do i have that do this oh charlie murder oh <laughs> uh, i guess oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much it was one of those things where i was like i'll pick it up i remember why i don't like this game no <laughs> That's because it sucked. No, I didn't hear great things about the game. Um, to be fair, I heard it was okay for the most part. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is okay. The art style is a hit or miss thing. and mm. it, it Depending on the place, it hits or misses me. Mm. Um, and then the combat is a little wonky when you're playing by yourself. Okay, so, fair enough. Yeah. And um, finally, the big one, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yay. I feel like, I'm not. Um, by the way, I'm not rushing you. It's just, you know... Just want yeah, to make no, sure you I, get I, every this beat. This is just a queef, uh, queef. This queef. is a quick brief <laughs> interlude before we get to meaty greedy. The juicy stuff. Nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. Mm. Words are hard because I'm all stuffed up because I'm sick. Sorry, internet fans. <laughs> uh, Deadpool. I really, really liked it. Good. I. It was what I wanted. Um, Good. There's a Stanley cameo, mm -hmm. and it's wonderful. Um. There are fourth wall breaks. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, Colossus is is a fantastic addition. Yeah, I was really surprised to see him. I'm kind of glad that he's in there. I'm, I was half expecting uh, Cable and uh, I know there's someone else he rolls with to appear. Don't tell me if they're in there or not, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to know. Uh, I was uh, gonna, just what what are you thinking? Like Hydra Bob? No, no, Hydra Bob. Um, the other woman. Is it Domino? Domino? Oh, yeah. Domino, yeah. Uh, I know who you mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rip the bandaid off. Mm -hmm. Cable's not in it. Who? Cable. Cable. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. But I'll... stay till the very end of the credits. Okay. Good. They, there is a button scene, and I think it's one of my fucking favorite button scenes. Does it? Sorry. The, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I could I could again, you know how I can talk about video games for mm -hmm. an hour. I yeah. could probably talk about this. Like if Raccoon later on sometime, if you and me want to do like a review of this fucking movie, I will 100 percent do that. I I think that's already in the works. As um the main reason uh, Ace isn't actually here because he's um celebrating Valentine's Day and he is seeing Deadpool today, as well. And I believe uh, the only two of I guess the four who haven't seen it is us and Ferret. So I think at some point we're gonna have to get together. And put this video together. Yeah, I'm done. Because I, mean, I would, I would love to. This is a film I think we're all going to see. Yeah, um, for obvious and reasons. It's already made back its money. Good. Wow. It's That's already made like, or rather, it's... it's made like 47 million domestic, mm -hmm. 
and um, twelve million internationally. Well, I'll actually look it up proper because I have the I have the window open. I just need to reload it. Fair enough. Oh, okay. It okay. It's made a hundred and thirty five million domestically. Good. Yeah. That's good yeah. for like a um. Film has been out like million. <laughs> four days. Uh, yeah. That's for, good no. For... It's just Friday. It's Saturday. Okay. Is what this is counting. For. Okay, hasn't it's, it's not it counting. Today. Out on Thursday. Yeah. I think there's going to be a big boom today. A lot of people yes, are seeing this film definitely. today, Valentine's Day, <laughs> for the record. <laughs> okay, and because I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting like notes from my girlfriend in the other room about things to talk about. Don't take your old people. Don't take your young people. There are penises. There are vaginas. <laughs> There are boobies. Oof. There's somebody fucking his own hand. Jeez. Um, this, this, lots of blood. I can uh, imagine. And it's, trust me, the blood's not from any of the sex stuff, thankfully. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> this but, sounds beautiful. Yeah. It's, it is, like, I don't want to say it because I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it because I, I honestly don't want this to be the, uh, best movie of the year and since this is the only movie i've seen this year i'm already <laughs> wanting to call it the best movie of the year uh but, and i don't want to hype it too much yeah that'll okay. just fucking ruin people's expectations yeah. Yeah. it was a funny movie um okay. it was a tight movie and they i was reading something online about how 48 hours before the movie was greenlit mm -hmm. they had to cut like seven million from the budget okay interesting uh, it's like seven or nine million, and the way they did that was, uh, do you guys know who Angel Dust is? The character? No. Yeah. No, I've heard of him, but I don't think I know of him. It's a, it's the lady with the boobs and the like slick back hair, in the uh, trailers. Might have. Oh, oh, her. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I should know. She was originally supposed to be three characters. Interesting. What? Yeah, and they were gonna split her up into three different subsets, yeah. but okay. they just. Decided to put Jean Carl Gianna Chiarly or whatever the fuck her words are hard. She's in the trailer, so yeah. you'll see her in there. <laughs> She's the one with the baps and the hair. Yeah, basically. Um, and then um, there, there's a, there's a scene where it's like somebody points something out, and he's just like fuck, and that was to get around a big thing they had planned. Mm-hmm. Um, that raccoon, I'll tell you later, I'll talk a lot about in the review. Sure. Uh, I'm saying definitely go see this. Don't take people who are under 15. Don't take people who would, like, be appalled at the word cunt. Well, I guess that's not really great for you people, because you guys use cunt like I use shit. Yeah, um, yeah. every what, second. Kinda, yeah. What is it, like, Cooper? Is that, like, a... That's a yeah, Cooper. Said. Cooper is a racial slur, but it's um, it's a very old one. No is one, it? no one refers to anyone by that. I've never okay. heard of that. No one calls anyone. That's it's, the... it's why Sly Cooper isn't named Sly Cooper. Yeah, it's guys. called Sly Raccoon. So you know the the game series Sly Cooper. It's yeah. called the first one's called Sly um, Raccoon in this country because they didn't want to have the title oh. Cooper in a title, despite I... the fact that the sequels are called Sly Sly Cooper <laughs> two and three, which is a bit weird. I I still don't know what that term is, but. Mm. Oh. It's a racial slur. I nah. think it's a black thing. Yeah, it is a black thing, oh. yeah. Um, same with, like, Cooper and Coon. It's, you know, oh, just, but, yeah. Okay. But um, that's great to hear. Um, so look forward to our inevitable review of uh, Deadpool, which hopefully will now, be on the channel soon. Soon, yes, soon hopefully. Exactly. We got so many things going up on this channel, you guys would not even believe. Um, right, so we start with some stories? Back here. Yes, let's. Cool, so let's start with the first one. Now, we got a kind of do updates on two of the first um, stories because a lot of things changed and happened over the course of uh, the last time we recorded. Because it was like a weird spot, especially when this story broke. This was when it just before it got big. And we were kind of talking about, obviously, we're kind of late to the party, but to kind of say, oh, we, we covered it early. Um, we're talking about the Fine Brothers and the whole situation where they um, did the whole, just a quick recap, they opened up like i guess a service or basically a react scam world. yes called react world where bottom line basically said hey if you want to make content similar to us because we are the creator of the word react and reaction videos you got to go through us by giving us some moolah now 
obviously after this happened and people were like, hey, these guys are trademarking the word React and hey, they've been taking people's videos down. The internet was on fire for a while, responded, um, you know, with just so much drama to the point where um, on Tuesday they meant they uploaded a video. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, after the initial React World video, they uploaded an update video where they basically complained about oh, the negativity, and it's exactly. a very strange and awkward video to they, watch two guys try and justify bullshit that hard. They're using like polished words, and it's, uh, that, that, this is reading from a script that they've they've written back ten times from their lawyers and stuff. It's true. That, that video is great because um, which one of the ones looks like the guy who has fetal alcohol syndrome? Which one of them is that? I which don't. It's the one on the left. Okay, I... yeah. He has he has a thing where he's just like, oh, these fucking philistines who don't understand me, and he rolls his eyes. I hate that. Yes. And it's such a great reaction gift because it pisses everyone who sees it off. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, w it was really bad. I mean, a lot of people have made the very good point because I think before we kind of go into more of their shadier bullshit, a lot of people have pointed out the fact that if they had not said anything, they would have got away with it. That's the thing. That's yes. the thing, because to actually obtain the rights to a trademark, it takes a month to which anyone can go in and then dispute no, oh, it. No, the thing is, they actually already did do it. That's the problem. They they did it for like elder React. They, they did it, and that's Child fine react, because that. that title is theirs. I don't, I, yeah. no, I don't really think they should be able to have that though. Elder reacts. To knowing no, knowing how that. much of a scumbag they are, no. But I think because that is technically because they got a logo and a motif, so I yes. think they're allowed to have that because there are copycats who will who who want to profit off their fame. I mean, they were worth about four billion with within subscribers, so. I can understand you want to copyright your name and your the shows, name, yeah, but the word react and the whole no. medium that they created. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> that's when you got gone too far. That's like me trying to trademark the word raccoon and me going down to, <laughs> and me going down to some kind of raccoon um, sanctuary and being like, right, I own this place. I own the name. You either pay me up. Or, you know... <laughs> it's like us doing podcast. Yeah, we uh, take the rights to podcast. <laughs> uh, podcast world. <laughs> oh, God. So, I have something yeah. tangentially related about bullshit shenanigans happening with um, YouTubers. Mm -hmm. So, you guys know about SoFlo Antonio. Oh, oh yes. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about this. <laughs> and have you been following the H3H3 H3 productions? Yes, stuff? yes, yeah. we have, yes. yeah. Okay. Well, for those who haven't, mm -hmm. what what ended up happening is this gentleman called SoFlo Antonio, who got famous for doing prank videos, and I'm using quotes for prank videos. <laughs> yeah, yes. <gone> sexual. <laughs> Hashtag gone sexualist him. Um, doing some, and his most controversial thing being asking underage girls if they want to have sex with his friend. Yeah, which is um, just Fuck up. that's that's really messed which would up. fly in every single country. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know why he hasn't gotten the shit kicked out of him when he's recording this, but that's yeah. whatever. Hmm. Um, so what ended up happening is on his Facebook page, because mm -hmm. Facebook is trying to get into the video market yeah. because they realize YouTube's got the is basically the monopoly. Yeah, yeah. you've got other smaller things, mm. but it's basically you. Yeah. Um, and with that, they've discovered, they, uh, they've been trying to monetize it with people. And one of the people, it was, so, so Flo Antonio, mm -hmm. um, and the way so Flo Antonio has made his videos is hilarious, but go on. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm fucking funny. This story isn't, I apologize. No, uh, he is doing it in the way that he he lifts other people's videos mm -hmm. puts like a little banner around it shows hey ba 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 mm -hmm. um so yeah so no I, I, I was just gonna take over am I meandering struggle. no no not really I but I was just gonna like just you no know, say it because I thought you were struggling but like he essentially, um, you know, he steals people's videos, and his justification for 
you know, stealing these people's videos is he will do an intro in some sense, like, oh, this is me when I take a shower, and he cuts to some random oh, yes. Asian girl who's dancing down the street. He just stole the video and lifts it straight away, and that's his justification, to which a lot of people have obviously called him out for stealing, but I'm sure he would justify and say, oh, no, I'm, I'm using it under fair use, but it's like, no. no so, it's there are now mm. a couple updates to this. Yes. One of them is H3H Productions, which is a, uh, a YouTuber that I haven't really been aware of until this whole situation. Oh, yeah. Um, made a SoFlo Pro Facebook page. Yes. That had, um, that is basically, it's like, oh, this is literally me doing things. And he does like a little parody intro and mm -hmm. then just lifts um, a SoFlo Antonio video <laughs> and puts it there. And so. It got to about 80,000 likes. Yeah. Which is a sizable amount. Mm -hmm. really and then good. he, one day, he knew it was going to get canned eventually. But one day, without any notification to him, it was canned. Mm -hmm. And then all of the likes that were on SoFlow Bro, all the people who liked it, the, the original one got, or the SoFlow Bro got crushed, and they were all... Man, or automatically liked to SoFlo Antonio. Yeah. That... Which is fucked up. That was... When I heard that, that was extremely fucked up to hear the fact that you, um, uh, Facebook would just do that. And I can yeah. kind of relate because, um... Um, YouTube's... I'm sorry. Facebook has been doing that a lot more often. Mm. They have been automatically linking you to, like, pages. And I've seen it happen a few times with, um... Uh, a film company, um, a few comp like trailer companies, a few news resources, and then one and a fan page to do with Undertale. Yeah. Which I stuck with it because I was like, oh, I like Undertale anyway. But <laughs> they post cool art. But um, I thought that was I was like, why are you guys doing this? Just because I have interest in films and trailers, it doesn't mean I immediately want to like that on Facebook. Exactly. It's I, I don't know where it came from, and it there wasn't even the sense of like. I never recalled liking it, and I don't know why they are just assuming people want this kind of stuff right in their face. And so I could immediately relate to that bullshit, but obviously that was inexcusable, but I'm sure you have more of the story to tell, Tourette's. Well, so, that happened. Mm -hmm. And then, and so it was it was a frustrating thing for the H3H3 guy, because that was his thing. He was, he was making the parody, and they didn't even tell him. And then it was frustrating, because they... Gave him the likes. Mm -hmm. Then, because he's been talking about this and he's bring, bringing it into the like actual eye yeah. of people, mm -hmm. he's been um, he was contacted by uh, a SoFlo litigator. It's a good word, yeah. <laughs> and threatened with legal jargon. Yeah, they threatened to said, um, sue him if the video was not taken down, I believe. Yep. And I'll, I'll, you, uh, I assume I can link you the videos, Raccoon. And everything, that, everything that's worth linking or that I mention or we mention is going to be linked down. So we're definitely obviously going to be um, linking everything to do with the Fine Brothers bullshit and um, H3H3 slash the and, 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 and the so Soflo Antonio, Antonio <laughs> BS because I yeah. think it's quite... Hilarious, but you all you need to know is basically in um, H3H3's video. Um, but yeah, it, it, I was watching his video because I've been subscribed to him for about eight months now. Because I okay. think he's... I'm really happy that there's someone like him out there just basically parodying and making fun of these living meme kind of characters. You know, real scum of YouTube, scum of the internet yeah. kind of characters. Even And there are occasional videos where it's just like, oh, this guy's kind of weird. You know, <laughs> which are always great. But um, the whole situation where they, um, j just to like quickly speed it up, like, um, uh, so, <laughs> no, no, no offense to you, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, man, I, I know I meander, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Take it's it fine. over. I'm pretty sure people would rather hear you, but whatever. Um, uh, so essentially they threatened them, um, they threatened um, H3H3 uh, with legal action to which he was like, yeah, okay. To which he managed to get some support from another kind of guy who kind of, you know, can provide advice because the idea of I'm going to take your channel down and sue you is becoming the new oh. the new hot threat because they yep. can easily crush any small channel. 
Exactly. What later ha- what what, what um, H three H three or Ethan as the guy is called discovered that um, SoFlo he kind of reformatted his page to which he was now crediting a source in these kinds of videos, some ridiculous like six letter word source yeah to which he was like oh that's a bit weird he looked on the page and it was basically the same thing as slowfo antonio mm-hmm. so he theorized that what sofo had done to combat people saying he stole videos was he just took the um the stolen videos put them on one page so he could say oh don't worry i didn't steal that i took it from this guy <laughs> yeah see i'm crediting to which wow. obviously um Ethan, he called his bluff. There was a bunch of emails sent about suing the person who owned that, like, six-letter word, <laughs> um, uh, what do you call it, um, Facebook page, contacted him, saying, oh, I, I don't work for SoFlo, I'm not him, uh, you know, and all that. This representative, SoFlo Antonio, was all like... I think it was the funniest part was when uh, H3H3, they posted saying, oh, wow, SoFlo, he just, he just threatened to sue me because of this one video, mm-hmm. to which they then responded saying... Oh yeah, we'll drop all legal charges if you just like stop saying what's going on is going on. That's... Which I thought was very interesting. How that was funny when I we went that. from "I'm gonna fucking sue you" to <laughs> "Oh, please take that tweet down. Please, I'm sorry. We, you just take it down." Yep. Like, <sighs> it's ridiculous. Uh, Therese, yeah. Um, and the, honestly, the funniest thing about that to me is the whole situation of the. QHTLK guy, mm-hmm. the um, source, yeah, uh, was that before the guy allegedly like sent him the email, yeah. somebody from SoFlo's network, yeah, was like, oh yeah, this is a guy in our studio, yeah, oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. yeah. So they basically just shut themselves in the foot, yeah. Because I think, well, thanks for like um, putting that all back in order for me because I missed that part. So when he, um, so so when he did say that that random Facebook page works for them, and that um, that page then said, "Oh yeah, I don't work for him. Oh yeah, I um, oh we can collab if you want." To which H three H three replied, "Yeah, someone from your team said you worked for them." To which, at the wow. time of that video he made, he has got no response. <laughs> And then it got even worse when SoFlo tried to throw shade at um, H3H3 with the most pathetic justification for copyright and stealing I think I have ever seen. Because he comes out as the most childish, butthurt kid I've seen in a while. I mean... The intro like his, you can tell he's definitely a douchebag. He is. He always has been. It's not like yeah. the Fine Brothers, where no. you knew they were like people knew they were like scum, but it was only now that they become <laughs> worldwide scum. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, and that, I will be linking all these videos in some kind of order for you guys to watch. But I mean, just just the just the the fact that H three H three was just completely unfazed by SoFlo's monopoly, and he's just like, you know, how are you going to be? I mean, he's scared. SoFlo yeah, is course. basically scared that one guy is exposing him. Yeah. That's and here's right the thing. Though. The guy has millions of followers. Mm. He could, he could, I guess, kind of be the better man and ignore it. Yeah. But no. Yeah, he has to make lot. one video addressing one guy who, for, for as far as his fans know, is lying. Yeah. As far as his loyal supporters know, H3H3 is lying. You think lying. he's lying. Yeah. Of course it is. But having a look at the dislike bar and um, uh, H3H3's subscriber jumped to 2,000 plus since that's happened. Oh, yeah. Nah. So, so, flows, so on. flows on his way out at some point. And I'm pretty sure, I hope Facebook re- looks at this and goes, actually, maybe we should pay more attention to the stealing of content and yeah. videos like they said. Because this has been a hot topic for like two years, hasn't it? And so they far. don't fucking do it. I don't know what is up with Facebook and YouTube just not doing anything about it's, this bullshit. They it's, want more money. It's because they don't care. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. They don't have to care. I mean, they... Facebook doesn't care and no one works at YouTube. That's basically how it goes. <laughs> no one no works one at YouTube. Cares. It's all robots. On the bright side, Steam's getting a little better. What? Steam is really... <laughs> Sorry, it's it's the same thing Steam. of bullshit, um, like support. Mm. Steam thankfully has been getting a little better. Oh, Steam's got really good so like recently. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, with refunds and all of that, and how oh, yeah. fast they give out refunds and mm. stuff. I was, I was like, wow, people actually working, huh? That's good to know. Yeah. 
But yeah, just all this bullshit that's happened for this first kind of like story, just to kind of uh, quickly end, go back to Fine Brothers because I don't think we need to talk about Fine Brothers anymore. I think no. everything that has been said has has been said, but I'll, I'll quickly go through it. So, according to a statement from the Fine Brothers themselves, they have um, well. Other than the whole, you know, looking into some of the more shady things they did, like the whole thing with um, Ellen De Degenerate show, oh, where yeah. um, um, she did a reaction to technology. Yeah, last kids. year she did a reaction oh, to right. kids, to which the Fine Brothers came out with a statement on Facebook saying, um, "Wow, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as a quote by them. Uh, wow, the Ellen show just did a kids react to old technology. Didn't mention us. Didn't do it with us. Not cool." Um, Need you to go to the, need you to go to their Facebook and blast the kids react links even if they didn't realize even more important tell them thanks for the help there's a link to leave comments wow. so they've essentially because they, they're so deluded that they think that they created the idea of people reacting to something okay how many so, times <sighs> yeah so bollocks when that sort of thing happens because I've seen that sort of thing happen on other things mm -hmm. there was a there was a whole there was a small brief debacle with the Cinemasons guy about that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, it's, that's, it's inexcusable to sick your fans on another company, on another person, on another internet thing. It's fucked up, because fans will go way too far. Mm, yeah, definitely. It, it, it can get a bit ridiculous, and um, this, the delusion is what gets me. You know what I mean? That that's like me going, "Hey, I'm the first YouTuber on YouTube to have a podcast and it has an animated character counterpart." I mean, <laughs> that character's coming, but like, um, you know, it's, it's fucking stupid. I mean, and reacting to things has been on publication for times because we did it with the one that that one show I forget its name um, time ago. Some other guy did it. Um, Colin. Conan uh, O'Brien. Conan O'Brien's technically so. done things like that. He yeah. reacts to video games, yeah. and uh, yeah. YouTubers have done reaction things. And even today, do you know how many YouTube channels are based solely on watching trailers exactly. and overreacting to them? You're really going to take all those people out and expect them to just be like, oh, okay, they want to cut off my pie. Yeah, sure, they can have that. I mean, they, they, oh, they only want an invented react, so it's, it's only fair. It's only it's fair. true. Only fair. But as of... Um, this recording, they we've received the message. Well, not we, but the world has <laughs> received we the message Fuck. from. Yeah, I contacted the Fine Brothers. They were actually pretty cool about it. Really? Um, no, oh, I'm oh. joking. Um, so over on uh, Reddit, they have essentially said that they are not going to be doing any of this. Kind of saying that they have decided the following: that they have, um, they are not going to be um, trying to take the react as a trademark. They are discontinuing the React World program, and they are going to release all past content ID claims, which proves that they were taking people's videos. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why I said before they, up, before they did the, the weird melancholy video of the um, React world. Mm. That's why they were, they were doing it long before that. It's, yeah, they were. And I think people started to catch on, so they thought, why don't we, why don't we say this? They underestimated how smart some people are. Exactly. It's a real shame. Anything else you want to talk about on this Fine Brothers story before we put it to rest and put it in the coffin at the taker? Nah, I'm all good. But real fast, I, I just saw a thing on my news feed. Mm -hmm. uh, Daredevil Season 2 is getting a trailer tomorrow. Ooh. Nice. So that should that's be the day the that, podcast goes up, exciting. actually. That's Sorry? cool. So, next um, update story. We talked about that one for a while, which is good. It was good. It was good fun. But we're going to talk about this one real quick because um, it's something that is worth mentioning, and that is the um, Fire Emblem's fate story we talked about last week. Do you remember this one, Ferret? Yeah, the whole character, the drink, yeah, the, the girl, who's not, not um, a homosexual or anything, it's just uh, she was a, she always faints when she sees cute well, girls. It, well, it was said that she was. Was she? Yes, in this story, the original story, which we'll get to that in a, well, we'll, we'll brief you quickly. So there was a character in Fire Emblem Fates oh. called Soil who basically, and this is this is what we covered last week. I'm going to yeah. specify where essentially what happened. What happens in the story is that she has a thing for um, girls which affects her in battle. So the main character yeah. can give her a potion which basically makes her see males as females and females as males. Yeah. 
and uh, but it eventually wears off. A lot of people had problems with this, according to the source, because they thought it was some form of gay conversion, gay conversion or drugging. So Nintendo said they're going to be removing this scene for the North American and European release. Now, I so happened to stumble upon some things and do some research and discovered that character is not gay. Yeah. That character is actually straight and just happens to like cute girls. Yeah. Um, the whole situation seems to be that um, w uh, a bad uh, Japanese translation uh, leaked and everyone's favorite group of people on the internet read it and missed, got missed informed about it and that was a few people on tumblr to which one person wrote a response um wrote an article talking about how this was a form of drugging gay conversion oh. because this character is gay yep. due to this bad translation this character is not basically what happens because and i'm only going to say this as a spoilerific thing because two reasons one it might not even still be in the game and two because um um and two because i think this only this, if it's still in the game, this will only happen at a tiny point. This only happens between the main character and this character. It's not even a spoiler, really. <laughs> no, this is this is a this is it's not even a major plot point. This only happens if you get a B support rank with this char character, to which the main character will help her. They will, he will give her a potion knowingly, but she won't know the effects of it. She will go try out it, realize something's weird because guys sound like girls and girls sound like guys she will say what was it what's up with that potion to which the potion will wear off because she's aware of it then once you marry her with an s um an s um class ranking she will say that she has always liked the playable character being a male and only as a male she will say that but mm. she will still like girls in a sense so basically this pissed me the fuck off mm. Fire Emblem Fates is my most anticipated game of this year and the fact that a bunch or one person potentially ruined and had this game censored because they didn't do their research or they freaked the fuck out because they have to be about that is, is so aggravating. Now, before I kind of put this story to rest, because uh, I've got a few other things to talk about real quick, the one thing I wondered was... Okay, so they said the whole thing with the whole drugging and um, like gay conversion thing, they're getting rid of it. It's not in the game, technically. Isn't it? So when Nintendo came out with that statement saying it's not in there, have they altered anything at all? Or have they just said that because they know it's not in the game anyway? That's what I mean. This is what got me wondering. Yeah. Because I was like, well, they, they've said nothing. Like, this isn't technically in the game. The, the most they could do is just remove... Him giving her a potion, and you won't—you don't even see it. Yeah. I've seen the scene. You don't even see him go. Here you go, love. Here's the potion. Really? You know, there's no animation. <laughs> there's no animation for him handing her a potion, <laughs> her drinking it, and coming back. It's all done within dialogue. Bloody hell! I swear to God, this better be in here. I'm gonna do a playthrough where I marry this character just to make sure, and I'll get back to you guys on it. I'm thinking it's a feminist who wrote the article. No, I think it's Tumblr. Oh, it's yeah. definitely that. It's, it's Tumblr. Um, <laughs> Tumblr is a great haven for awesome ideas and artwork, but it can be a pretty... Cesspit. Yeah, it can be a cesspool of just angry girls and boys mm -hmm. for, the, for the most part. Um, and also, real quick, um, the collector's edition for the um, Fire Emblem Fates. I'll mention this because I think there are a lot of people looking forward to this game. The collector's edition, uh, it was released and then sold out immediately. Because Nintendo wanted to be smart and release it in limited um, quantity. Because Nintendo really aren't thinking right now. And um, well, so Nintendo always did that though. When the Wii came out, you couldn't fucking buy one because everyone they couldn't was buying because they didn't expect it to be the success it was. That's why they didn't expect it to. You have to remember the Wii U was like the second or the third biggest selling console of all time. Because it was just so popular with the masses, the people were like, oh, I want a Wii U, I want a Wii U. Oh, sorry, a Wii. Wii. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that, that's what <laughs> Nintendo wishes people were saying. I want a Wii U, yeah. I want a Wii U. But that's later Speaking for the podcast. The that's yeah. the hype guy. We'll, we'll, get to that, we'll get to that later. Um, so, they released a special edition which comes with an art book, a case for your 3DS, and interestingly enough, now I think most people know the game is coming in two parts, like two separate cartridges. Hmm. In the special edition, it comes on one cartridge Ooh. with both stories and the DLC, 
story that which will be released a month later on the same cartridge. Mm. Once again, this pissed me the fuck off because I was like, okay, if you can put it on one cartridge, why did you not do that in the first place? Why are you splitting it? Maybe it runs better. Uh, on the standard cartridges, it runs better two separate cartridges, but they're but it's supposed using to like be a nicer, special nicer edition. cartridge for the, the special edition. I don't fucking I've know. I've seen right what the cartridge looks like. It doesn't look any different. Yeah, the outside of it doesn't. No, I'm talking about the stuff. actual cartridge. Like, mm. picture to scale to size. Yeah. Nothing. There's no difference. I'm saying the guts might be different, is what I'm telling you. Well, I mean, the guts probably are, but, like, um... It's annoying. I mean, <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, it's gonna cost you, like, $20, £10 more to get the special edition. Yeah. But I think most people would much rather actually want to actually make have the option to make the choice instead of the choice being how much mu- which how much you're going to spend your 30 dollars to 60 bucks on which game exactly like it was originally promised the whole idea about this game was you get to make a decision are you going to be with this <laughs> side or that side but now it's like are you going to be with this side or that side 60 dollars please <laughs> no i agree with you. i mean this is worse All than pokemon way. to some extent because um at least with pokemon you only really buy one version because yeah. you know you're not going to get that much difference with Fire Emblem Fates, it is a different campaign, no matter which one you buy. And it's a different experience. One's harder mm. than the other. One has this character, one doesn't have that character. Oh, one no. game plays like this, one game doesn't play like this. One has one ending, one has the other ending. Bloody heck. That's, it's annoying. That does sound annoying. It is really annoying, but I think we'll probably have to not talk about Fates for a while, because... It's like we've done it three weeks in a row now. Three podcasts in a row, and I'm pretty sure everyone is just going, oh, I wish Reckon would shut the fuck up now. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Um, We're happy to have you here. Now, um, Tourette, do you want to take the um, third story we have? So we're finally moving away from updates, and that is, like was previously teased, talking about uh, the Wii U and Nintendo. So do you want right. to take it away? This story actually was, I was like, I, I kind of took a double take after reading it. Mm-hmm. So, Wii U sales have passed 12 million. Mm-hmm. Oof, um, yes. Which is great. I, I think that's a really good thing because I really like the Wii U. And Insane. I think it's a console that people should appreciate. Yeah. It's got good games. It's got, Jesus Christ, IGN, don't fucking play ads in my goddamn ear. Oh. Um, don't worry, I have all the notes here just in case. But Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. I paused it. It's <laughs> still, it's just like, but 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 I'm like, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so it's past 12 minutes, which is great. I mm-hmm. think the Wii U is a fantastic console. It's yes. got a lot of great games, yeah. and the internet, like the online connectivity thing is interesting. And it I is, it works. Yeah. It's decent, it's good. I like it mm. a lot. And even with the gamepad, I really enjoy the gamepad. Mm. When my girlfriend's littlest kid comes over, she, uh, I'll make food, she'll be like, I want to watch something on the little screen, and then we'll just set up the... <laughs> Uh, Netflix on the Wii U and she'll just watch whatever Hulk and the Agents of Smash or whatever the fuck she wants to watch All right. and she she loves it and I think it's a great it was a great concept and it paid off mm-hmm. but the, I think the interesting thing about this article mm-hmm. is Amiibos yes Amiibo figure sales have hit 20 and a half million dollars yeah bloody hell that's beautiful topped off by the fact that the amiibo cards which they introduced because um amiibos are i I believe a little bit more expensive to make and people just can't fucking find amiibos they have uh sold 21 and a half million like that's amazing holy shit (laughs) amiibos are about 50 bucks right yeah A Wii U is anywhere from 150 to 300 bucks, depending on. Mm-hmm. So, no matter what, there are over 10 times as many Amiibos. Way over. I would say 20 times as many Amiibos as there have been Wii U sales. Yeah. Yeah, of course, cool, man. Which is fucking crazy! Yeah. It, it really is. I think we joked about how rare the amiibo yeah. was and how much people wanted yeah. them because the I, I, I remember um, if you listen back there was one fabled podcast where I was extremely annoyed because um, a truck <laughs> <laughs> the 
the Splatoon uh, truck. Yeah, right? the Splatoon yeah. truck oh. from England got fucking hijacked with my special edition <laughs> with all three Amiibos in it. <laughs> So, and so I mean, dumb, though. I mean, yeah, that's probably one of our favorite stories, but obviously that, it didn't benefit me. No, no. <laughs> Trust me, when I walked into the store, there was a guy standing by the front door, and he was like, "I hope you didn't order the special edition, of, <laughs> special edition of Splatoon." I he was, was like, skipping there as well, and then when he heard that, he just went, "Oh." Yeah, he that guy was almost was ready to. He was ready to make jokes, <laughs> but um, th th this is really crazy here. I was really surprised by this because I mean I could kind of understand the amiibo sales but the fact that the cards have surpassed that as well they've up the same um yeah they've made as much is crazy because I haven't heard of anyone buying the cards personally I haven't heard I anyone haven't raving over the cards or being like oh look at my card collection what any hype of that I haven't heard any of I've that. seen them but I ain't you know done anything about them but you know hmm. this 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 my gosh I'm amazed i mean i got three amiibos on my shelf which you can see um I'll, I'll tell you the ones i have they're um uh i have the duck hunt duo the um mewtwo one and the 30th anniversary mario one those are the only ones i have i've got pac-man that's good and he's over on my shelf next to the tardis cool but my my fucking friend henry ramirez i'm calling him out by fucking name oh <laughs> this son of a bitch has like 30 amiibos mm -hmm. he doesn't have a wii u Jeez. what and he has a 3ds so it's not too bad okay but there are like five games that the fucking 3ds yeah. work on as opposed to them like hundreds or whatever not hundreds that's ridiculous the the two dozen uh, 20 to 30 ones. games i think yeah yeah the two dozen that the wii u have Mm -hmm. And so he's sitting there like, oh, I've got... All... He's not he's not British, but I'm going to use my British voice. Oh, I've got all me fucking am amiibos. And I'm sitting there like, Henry, you have a problem. <laughs> Dude. I like, think... And, and he on. talks to me, he's like, I want to buy a Wii U. I'm like, if you wouldn't have bought any of these, you would have got a Wii U already. Exactly. I mean, I have no intentions of, like, collecting, like, amiibos. Even if I was a rich man, I probably wouldn't. No, but um me neither. I mean, I've got a... We, we collect... It, I mean, I currently have your Wii U at the moment, and that's how yeah. we kind of play the games. And I have ones because I like them as toys and collectibles. But, I mean... Oh, my gosh. I mean... I, I, I think we have to go back to the news story with the guy who was buying up all the Rosalina toys. He spent, like, about... <laughs> Was it like 20,000 20, on them? He must have it like contributed about a percentage of that. He did. Or something. Most likely. Because I'm pretty sure he keep. Well, he probably keep going. He's probably up to about like 100,000. I don't know where <laughs> the fuck this guy's getting the money. And I'd love to see his house. Same. Just has a sofa made of like Rosalina. His Rosa house is literally just made of the <laughs> Rosalina statues. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised like to that see old beer commercial. You, you see him on like some kind of like designer house like show, and he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, so the idea I was going for was Rosalina. fuck this character," <laughs> and I kind of based the house on my dislike for this character and my distasteful um, opinions towards Nintendo and this character. So that's why the whole house is kind of like melted down to you know. You can melt them down and make shoes. Set them off. I don't. Think no, he... I'm not even saying melt them down. I'm saying. There are gaps in his fucking house where the Rosalina like arms are like given a big old gap. Oh god, is wow. it? That is becoming a little bit creepy now. Because I was imagining yeah. he was keeping him in the boxes, not literally taking him out and like just putting the. Okay, he just put him anyway. I don't care. The guy too much money to waste, and he could give it to charity or something like that. Yeah, exactly. My boy. <laughs> He's using them as whisks. Exactly. Oh god, we need to do a video on that or something. But um, <laughs> are there Rosalina? Uh, amiibos to buy? I'd imagine they're at a shortage because of him. <laughs> or they're, they're like really expensive now because <laughs> that guy keeps buying them. I guess, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. It's a blind man. I guess, I guess. Um, but we also have some other um, sales news regarding Nintendo. Do you want to cover that, Tourette's? Or... Oh, um, maybe. Um, it's alright. We could. Do you want to maybe cover it or. Um... I can cover I have it. no idea which one you're talking about. Neither um, do I. That's why I got the Power Rangers one. So I okay, no. Well, I'll just I'll just blow through this real quick. So um, as well, uh, the game. Um, excuse me. Uh, the Wii U itself is um, well. Its previous kind of uh, seller's position was like uh, 
10 and almost you know 11 million sales at that point so mm. it's made an incline of about a million or so splatoon is currently at um 4.06 million sales along with yeah. super mario maker which is ha which has uh 3.45 million sales um we already talked about the amiibos but also mario kart has done incredibly well at 7.724 million and the 3ds also very impressive has uh sales of 57.9 million with a software lifetime sales of 200 264.53 million do you remember when do you remember about two years ago or something where people were saying nintendo's over Nintendo yeah because of the back. 3ds yeah uh, look at them now for the 3d point no no I like the 3DS. I oh, have a 3DS. We'll the, 3D, yeah, the 3D aspect of it is dumb. Worthless. Yeah, it really is. Just a gimmick. Really. Just a gimmick that doesn't work. It looked good on one game for one effect, and I was like, oh, that's cool. For me, it worked on a, a Luigi's uh, Mansion. He's yeah, saying Luigi's Mansion. It looked kind of cool in Virtue's Last Reward, if anyone's played that game. Oh, I don't see it. There's a particular character that you view in a certain way, and if you put the 3D on that character at some point, it looks kind of cool. Oh, because it's a very weird character anyway. Um, that's a game I'd highly recommend. And the dog is agreeing with me that you can probably hear on the mic. The dog has raucous applause. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm glad someone else has played that game. Um, right, so, uh, Ferret, do you want to take the, kind of introduce the next story? Our fourth story, kind of talking about um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Banks, yes. Yeah, Go sure. ahead. Go ahead. Well, they've announced that Elizabeth Bla 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 Blanks. Uh, Elizabeth <laughs> but Elizabeth Fair, you're drunk, oh. <laughs> Get Elizabeth Banks is going to join the new Power Rangers movie as Rita Repulsa. Repulsa, yeah. Repulsa. <laughs> I think it's Repulsa. I, that's, a, that's a strange Repulsa, name. Repulsa, Repulsa. I'm doing bad with names so right now. It's weird. That's usually my job. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what did you guys think of that? Uh, Tretch? I don't like Elizabeth Banks as a person. Okay. She, she uh, there's, there, she and I have differing views on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But that is really good casting. Yes. Mm. I, I wouldn't have thought of it, but as as somebody said that, I was like, motherfucker, they just got it. They got it. They got the person. Yeah. I think um, I was really I at first I was like, who the hell was that? Mm. And then people, oh, it was the woman in uh, Hunger Games, and I was like. Okay, I can understand why they would get her. I looked at her like profile. I was like, "Oh, okay, this woman can act." And then um, I thought it was. I thought I was. I looked at this and I was like, kind of, kind of echoing what you said. I was like, "Yeah, this... they've got this film hyped. They've got this film on the board. People are now gonna go see this film." Yeah. I mean, she's playing Rita Repulsa, the very first and more or less most iconic villain from the original Power Rangers run, next to like uh, Lord Zed, I believe the other guy was called, which. He would he he looked like a Power Ranger himself, and he was okay, a villain yeah. dude, and they haven't cast him. But he has no face, so okay. we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, but I was really happy with this. I do like on the uh, Lion Gates uh, Power Rangers Twitter, they basically came out and said how evil at Elizabeth Banks joins the hashtag Power Rangers movie cast um, as the villain hashtag Rita Repulsa. Which, when you read it like that, makes hashtags and at sound incredibly stupid. It does sound but, um, really, really stupid. Yeah, Give me a way that hashtags don't sound incredibly stupid. Oh, they always do. Okay. They always do. Um, and also, um, Elizabeth Banks as well kind of tweeted out saying, After 10,000 years, I'm fine. I'm free. It's, it's time to conquer the Earth, which is a great reference to the original yeah. series. Um, time to play Rita Repulsa in hashtag Power Rangers movie. So... Already, even if she, even if she doesn't know anything about Power Rangers, she's already got a quote to get people happy or excited. So she knows her stuff. The only thing I'm concerned about with this casting is mm -hmm. is I'm so Lion Gate also published Hunger Games, like we mentioned. She was in that as well. I'm really worried that they caught they mainly they, the only reason they casted her was because of Hunger Games. You need to stay the fuck away from Hunger Games, seriously. She's, she's a good actress, though. She really, is, really yeah, good. She's a good actress, but... It's stunning. What, she but, was fun on 30 Rock. She's a good com uh, comedic actress. Yes, yeah, she is. And Rita Repulsa is a villain you don't take seriously. She will probably be a more dressed-up, campy kind of... like Very much like that quote. She'll probably be like, After 10,000 years, I'm finally going to kill the parent. You know, I'm pretty sure she's just going to be waving that hand and 
She's got chewing be scenery it. and yeah, that girl's got to work it. I would imagine. I'm, I I think I think they didn't really look towards Hunger Games. Mainly, I think they looked at Pitch Perfect because her character in it. That's that's. I she plays it really well. Shaq's really stupid in that. I, I would hope because I mean I think they would have. They'd, I don't think they're looking towards Hunger Games for that. I, I, yeah, I just hope they didn't go... I hope there wasn't a situation where they went, oh, yeah, she was in Hunger Games, the kids like Hunger Games, put that woman who was in Hunger Games. I'm sure that was probably brought up, but, but I'm that's, hoping... That's Jennifer Lawrence's career, though. You just, you just said it. She's in Hunger Games. Yeah, that geez. made a lot. Jennifer and Lo- she's got a lot of videos at. Jennifer... Is it Lawrence? Is that what Lawrence, she's called? Yeah. yeah. She's the biggest clown right now. She... Oh. She's just a real girl, guys. Come on. She's the biggest she's, clown. She's, she's the biggest normal. clown right now, and she won't even wear the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's, she's, she clever. really annoys me. Yeah, that that shit has been pissing me off. Yeah, I was I was really annoyed by that. We we were we're basically talking about the fact that Jennifer Lawrence is currently playing um, what's the Mystique. blue woman? Mystique in X Men. <laughs> Huh? The, the blue, blue woman. woman. Well, yeah. I'm not it's, she's cool. it's just funny. Sorry, I sounded like the mass audience right there. Um, it's just the way it's, it's just the way you said it. I'm the blue woman. The blue. <laughs> Let blue. Um, <laughs> and she's basically come out and said, "Oh, I don't want to be playing Mystique in the next X Men oh, film because wow. the, the paint is awful to work with." <sighs> yes, I know it is awful to work with, but at the same time. It doesn't make much sense for the character to be one fucking face when she can be hundreds for the whole fucking movie. It's like, get off your fucking ego trip, she, woman. She knows Stop. It's, it's not even that, I'm though. Th- it's... Sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, it's I'm fine. Going... I was done, but yeah. fair, you go after. It's... It frustrates me because her, she's, her contract is up after Apocalypse. And Good. it's fine. Yeah. It's not... That's her coming back is not the issue. Mm-hmm. It's that she's a fucking prevalent character at all. Yeah. Yeah. Mystique isn't a fucking big deal. Yeah, that's in, true. In actually. the comics. She's there sometimes. Yeah. She does some things sometimes. Yeah. The character is very rarely around. Yeah. Um, in like the nitty gritty of it. Mm. And now they're making her the big fucking central character. She's in every single one of the trailers, and it pisses me off because mm. they're gonna they're gonna fuck up, or they're not even gonna fuck up. They're just not gonna show Cyclops in this. Cyclops isn't in the fucking poster. This this <sighs> already annoyed me how much screen time she how important she was in the was it the the future past future past how important future past. she was. That annoyed me. It's like ugh. I mean I thought that was clever the way that they did the whole threat yeah, trying good. to avoid spoilers because that film isn't five years old yet but yeah but she didn't need to be in it that much that's what's annoying is how, how important they're trying to make her it's because she's young good looking but i wouldn't even say she's that in, in, she's got a uh, fucking screw face no one want to see that <laughs> and uh, she's in hunger games oh. character was rogue that's why the robots can like yeah take powers yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense when it's mystique. Exactly. They yeah. they changed a lot in Days of Future Past to, which were just like K at all. Okay, it's... that couldn't work because I mean, if you don't know, Days of Future Past is basically let's go back to the past to fix the future, you know, story cliche, whatever. Yeah. But um, you know, even the fact that it was it, Wolverine went back to the past because they're like, oh, because his body would be able to withstand the travel. And it was like, originally it was Kitty, and it was like, I'd much rather Kitty just go back and be more, be a bit more interesting to have someone who isn't Wolverine cast yeah. whether you like ellen page or not is another story i know a certain Whoa. somebody does not but um i don't know that film was good other it's than those good, yeah. few weird things i guess you could say other than katniss everdeen where her name is who Ka- uh, the one from That's other games. The, yeah. oh yeah sorry she sorry she's that forgettable i always forget her name sorry good it's, it's just i see her face and it's like oh god this yeah. woman but you know i mean but back to um, the the story with Olivia Banks, just to finish it off real quick. They need to stay away from Hunger Games. Just Sure, if you want to get the Hunger Games crowd in, fine. But just whoever's directing this, writing this, producing it, make sure it's better than Hunger Games, please. Make it actual film. Make it campy. Make it fun. Make it stupid. Just make it what Power Rangers was. You can make it dark. You can make it funny. But just don't make Hunger Games. Don't do it. Because you, you'll fail. They're already making another one. So, Hunger Games. Yeah, they're already making another one. Oh, I'm sure they're going to be milking that cow, but like, um, you know, joke. The Hunger Games, you're going to be awful. Just stay out of my Power Rangers movie. Yeah. 
That's that's what Speaking we're trying to say. Of <clears throat> young adult novels that are being milled. Mm-hmm. How are you guys doing with the eighth Harry Potter book that's going to come out soon? Oh. Yeah, this was a story which um, kind of kind of just jumped to my um, you know kind of like final point in it. I was like, wow, really didn't see that one coming. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. So oh, no, there's another one. Oh, it's not. How it's, strange! It's not even the fact that there's another book. It's just the fact that it's like, hey, here's some big news. The um, play, the Cursed Child, I believe it's called. Yeah. Um, for for a story that happens after the end of Harry Potter is going to be released as a book, and mm-hmm. it was like, hey, and I was just kind of like, yeah, you guys do know that scripts are very similar to books, right? Mm. I mean, sometimes play gonna, scripts I, are released as books. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sucker. I wouldn't bother. I mean, no, I think it's going to be good and all of that. But I don't think I'll particularly. I don't think I will read it, to be honest. The, I'm sure tons of people are going to read it. But yeah, yeah. I, I'm not bothered by this news. I'm thinking, yeah, sure. She wants to do it. It's her own thing. And she's. She's. she's it doesn't make me it. angry. It was just like a kind of, well, well no shit kind of yeah. story. That's the, the only reason it was. trying to build up hype. That's what you're yeah, angry about. It's the only about, reason right? I, didn't, I, I didn't originally put it in uh, the list of episodes, um, yeah. the list of stories, because, once again, it was just like. Well, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> Not to kind of discredit you, Tourette's. But anyway. No, it's fine. I'll just sit here and smile. That's fine. <laughs> I can see the Harry Potter poster in the background. Oh, no, that's Not just Nintendo. Perfect. I know, I know, I know it's Nintendo. I'm just joking. <laughs> but, um, uh, Ferret, as soon as we're moving on, do you want to take the uh, next story, our fifth story, regarding yes. the two men of the hour at the moment? It's got, it's got my main man in there, my top dog, yeah? <laughs> Heidi... <laughs> Hideo Kojima, and oh, I keep Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. Mm-hmm. Is that, I think I think I, I believe that's how you say his name. He can correct us if he needs to. Oh, I really I wish he you, does. You just said it, but it had you had like a marble in your mouth. It was fine. Okay, oh, okay, okay. But yeah, just to re- recap because I lost my way in that. Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. Oh shit, Guillermo Toro, del Toro. Guillermo. Yeah, yeah Guillermo. Toro. Yes, that's it. I keep thinking of uh, Jimmy Kimmel when I, when I think of Guillermo now. But, um, why? <laughs> yeah, why? Because of, that, cause of the, the Guillermo, the guy, the security guard on the Jimmy Kimmel show. I don't watch the Jimmy Kimmel show. Neither do I. Nobody watched the Jimmy Kimmel show because Jimmy Kimmel has a weird face. <laughs> <laughs> His face is too perfect looking. It looks, in, in the it, sense of like, it looks it. like the kind of face you'd see on a mannequin. Oh. Yeah, I know what That's you mean. That's what I mean. But I was like, gonna say, he had, like he plain and just perfect tubers. Yeah. Nah. But getting back to it, they're going to be. They've been confirmed on the Dice Summit keynote speakers. For the uh, February 18th. So for February that's 18th. Yeah. Very close. On a Thursday afternoon. Cool. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> in case you're in the area and are going. Good to know. No, I'm, I'm sure there probably are some yeah, people no, no. who are going, you know. Yeah. And it's but basically the Dice session is going to be called. A conversation with Hideo Kojima and Guillermo Toro, Gel Toro, mm. Guillermo de Toro, mm-hmm. and it will be moderated by Jeff Knight, Jeff, Jeff Knightley, Jeff Knightley, possibly. Jeff Knightley, yeah, yeah. yeah. which is cool. I mean, yeah, um, it's, it's going to be a really interesting insight into their minds. It should be. I know. Um, uh, kind of coming off the announcement, they 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 kind of put down a quote saying like, uh. These master storytellers will offer insight into their creative vision and the driving force behind their artistic pursuits. Which is a, you know, but we both understand they're both good yeah. writers, creative people. So, you know, I'd like, I'd much, I'd much like to see their, those guys. I'd like to see Hideo just throw out an idea as, like, oh, what if I have a giant robot and it starts spinning? And then Dotoro was like, oh, but then it turns out it's a weird monster face. I'd, I'd love to see them just start brainstorming ideas on stage. That would be beautiful. But um, do you want to also take the uh, the other story that also comes with this one as well? Um, still keeping with yes. Hideo Kojima. Yes, yes. I love this. This is probably the greatest idea I've heard this year. Since so sliced far. bread. Since sliced bread. Yes, exactly. Actually, <laughs> not this year. Time all, all of time. Mm-hmm. And that's Hideo Kojima. Is going to be do- he's, he's already completed one of his videos. He's um, he's doing a web a YouTube series mm-hmm. entitled Hideo Tube, mm-hmm. Hide Tube, sorry, mm-hmm. and basically it's gonna be him in a podcast setting similar to us, mm-hmm. and it's just gonna be it's just gonna be him talking about lots of stuff, 
Like, he's already got one episode out, and that's his top ten favourite movies. Of 2015. Of 2015, yeah. yes. And I've watched a bit of it. After this podcast, hop back, watch again. Mm-hmm. It's... Oh, we'll definitely be linking uh, that video in the description, yes. just in case people really want to um, uh, go ahead and see it. But um, when I... It's... Yeah, go on. It's funny about that video, because mm-hmm. I was... I was, I was like watching and listening to it mm-hmm. and then I, I like looked away to do something and I was still listening to it and then I realized I couldn't I couldn't speak <laughs> Japanese so I had no idea what he was saying yeah I was about to say like is it sometimes <laughs> but yeah I just... it is sometimes that's why I, I was like looking away and I was like t- like typed it on reddit or something and I look back and I'm like I, I just realized I have no idea what you just said I was just listening to Japanese for like five minutes just so you, just so everyone knows it is in Japanese but it's got subtitles, yeah. so there you go. Yeah, so if you're not used to reading anime or reading subtitles, you might struggle. But I think he's, he might take an English speaker on one and one. He can podcast. speak English. So yeah, he's, you'll probably... He can, he un- I think, as far as I know, he understands yeah. English, but I, he can he speak, a lot of he can speak some English, but he's yeah. not fluent in it, no. by no means. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. I mean, when I saw this, I was originally like, yes, just do it. <laughs> just do it. I'm sure... Sure, because I mean the guy wears his inspirations on his sleeve, so yes, might as well talk about them. Yeah, you know? it'll be interesting podcast. It should do. I'll, I'll definitely be interested to see what he covers in the next one, which is good. Uh, moving on, we've got a quickly, um, not quickly. We've got a small story which I'm going to quickly get through because it's basically tiny. Um, Capcom have confirmed the first DLC um, character for Street Fighter V. It is Alex from Street Fighter Three. Second Impact, Third Strike. Um, he has been confirmed, which is freaking awesome because I know a lot of fans have wanted him yeah. or a character from Third Strike to come in. Hmm. Yeah, go. Cool. Is Street Fighter Five out? It's out. I think next week. Okay. Or this week when the podcast okay. goes up, I think. I don't. I don't keep track of uh, fighting games. I'm not a super big fighting oh, game guy. Fine. Yeah. So it's just like first DLC character. Raccoon's excited about it. That game must be out. I've heard nothing about this game being out. Hmm. If it's not out and he's excited about it, that means he's excited about DLC that should be on the disc. This is yeah, a quandary. The, the way they've done it this time is the game is, I believe, releasing with like eight, ten characters. But what's happening is there are DLC characters, but you unlock them. Okay. If I remember correctly, I, they are I going like to be that. slowly releasing these DLC characters, oh, but you have to good. earn in-game credit to actually get them. So you download them when they say you're fine to do it. I think there'll probably be an option to just buy them straight away, but I believe you can buy them with in-game credit. I like okay, that. okay, that's really, really yeah. good. That's Which oh, that's I would, which, because I think we covered this on a couple podcasts ago, and I, and I believe, I think it was me and Ace at the time, we were like, yes, Capcom, this is how you do it. Yes. If you find, it's fine if you don't want to put 50, 100 characters on this. <laughs> If you just want to give people them and give them the option to pay yes. or pay in game and, and, and work for them, like I'm sure most people are going to be grinding, perfecting characters, doing this, doing That's that. That's half the fun. Do it. Yeah, it is. Half the fun is unlocking the characters. Have you? Yeah. Has anyone ever played Marvel vs. Capcom 2? It takes a long time to unlock every single character because you have to get points by beating arcade mode to unlock just one character. Jesus. <laughs> And even then, when you go to the store, it's randomized. It's not, I'll have that character. It's like, oh, I just so happen to be oh, able to unlock brilliant. Um, this like character. That. So you have the option, oh, do I save my money because I know this character's in the game, but I don't see him in the store right now, so maybe I'll go back arcade, beat it one more time, get some more money. Oh, there he is, I can get him. You know. Yeah. I like that, that but yeah. that's frustrating. It is frustrating, it's yes. Frustrating. Trust me, me and, um, me and Obsidian, we spent a good couple hours just like purchasing like about you know, five characters over the course of a couple hours. But, um, yep, Alex is a infamous character because he's he's a fan favourite from the whole series. He's He kind of has a uh, wrestler kind of um, New York feel. He, if anyone puts in a character, they will probably be reminded of Hulk Hogan, of anyone. I mean, he doesn't yeah. have a moustache or anything like no, that, but, but he's a wrestler, he's a grappler. He does have kind of like a bandana kind of thing. Shirt off, a bit muscle like dude. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure he's based off him. Probably. So I'm happy that character's finally in because originally he was seen in the background of one of the um, stages. So people were like, oh no, don't tell me the, the guy who owns the character got his way and Capcom couldn't get the character. But 
they heard and they just you know they did something nice for the fans which is great but um much like the, the roster a few characters came back for the main uh roster of the game but um we've talked about it a couple of times uh Tourette's, do you want to take uh the seventh story talking about quantum break okay um, don't have to, don't I don't to. know what Quantum Break is. I keep thinking it's Quantum Conundrum. It's coming to PC, Windows. Yes, because it and also um, X1. Oh, and it's coming bundled with the white Xbox One. Yes, coming bundled with the white Xbox One. Now, the main reason... This is kind of like a fluff story, where we'd kind of ignore this kind of thing. But I, I kind of wanted to talk about it, because um, th this was kind of sad to hear. Hmm. Because it was like... Oh, really, Microsoft? I mean, yeah. It's coming for PC Windows, not just PC in general, obviously. They're, they're still kind of a Microsoft exclusive. But for anyone who isn't aware, which I imagine is most people, Probably. and I'm not, I'm actually not surprised because this game is under the fucking radar for a triple A game. It it's is triple A? Yes. I didn't this even is, know this that. is, um, um, I think it's, uh, Microsoft published, and I think it's by the guys who are making, who made Alan Wake. Really? Yeah, it is. This and is their next game. The, the Xbox One comes yeah. with the code for Alan Wake American Nightmare. Yeah, and the I, I believe the first game as well. And yes, you you'd think, and because I was kind of I was telling you Ferret about this because yeah. I remember I, I told you about the story and you were like, "What the fuck is Quantum Break?" Yeah. <laughs> and um, I it was a TV show. When it I is. First heard it. It is as oh, well. Oh, Jake, oh wait, yes, Guys. it is now. Hmm? What did you That's say? That's Quantum Leap. Yes, Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap is a show, thinking. but Quantum Break is also going to yes. be a show as well. That's... So, so quick history fact because I don't think anyone knows at the time. Well, uh, knows because it's just, just whatever. When Microsoft first unveiled the X One, they had, I believe, their E Three presentation, and obviously they talked about the whole thing with like the Kinect is improved. It's always going to be watching you. All this bullshit. And then they talked about, oh look, you can do your TV and your back and forth and all that. And then and then they went, hey look, it's um, uh, uh, Quantum Break, you know, it's gonna be a game about this guy who he gets messed up with like time and he can control time But the cool thing is there's also gonna be a TV show with live-action actors and it's gonna be like episode, you know So yeah. obviously at the time if you know your history if you were around you know that like people were obviously like fuck that Where's my disc? I don't want the connect. I don't <laughs> want TV So this game just got fucking destroyed because it was everything Nobody wanted. Exactly. So over the course of three years, this game was in development hell. It was only as of last year we got to see some gameplay to which most people were extremely underwhelmed by it because it basically boiled down to a third person cover shooter. And I'm going to say shooter again because this guy can control time, be it he shoots the enemies. And I was like... No, this guy has a really cool effect where he can stop time and the ground breaks and he can move around the enemies frozen in time. But you're saying, oh, the only way he can kill them is with a gun. Yeah, it's pretty... And it's like, pretty most pretty. people are like, yeah, well, I have my Call of Duty and I have my gears. Why would I care about this? So the fact that they've come out and said, game's coming with a white X bundle and now we're going to put it on two systems. It's just like... Microsoft just wants this fucking game out of the way. They do not give a shit anymore. And I feel so sorry for the team. I feel so sorry for them. It's quite it's rather upsetting that Microsoft has fucked over another game again. Yep. And it, that's that's the only reason I put this new story in there because it's just it you know, and it's I I'm sure people probably listen to this and go, "Oh, why are you guys so um positive on Nintendo and Sony?" And that's because they don't fucking destroy their games too much exactly. they, they have something worth talking about they don't mess up their public uh, developers yeah and the, and the first part of this podcast i was talking about the free games with gold and how i was enjoying the games i've been playing exactly on and my then, xbox 360 and the main reason we don't yeah. even cover those is because <laughs> just go fucking buy the disc it's yeah. like Ooh. it's like oh here's a free game that you can buy for like three pound anyway okay i guess i saved some yeah. money there have been games where it's been like 30 bucks retail. I know, but it's like, I don't want a free digital game. I want the game. I want it on disc and I want it on my shelf. It doesn't interest me. And, it, and I'm yeah, sure... Yeah, that's you, man. But I'm sure it doesn't interest some other digital. people. Trust me. Could, we could, I don't know. If we if we had people listen to this podcast, I'm sure people would write in with their opinions for and <laughs> against. <laughs> but, um... Which is something i hopefully like to have in the future. But this is really really 
annoying for me, and I don't even care about the game. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I don't. I don't care. But ah well, if Microsoft wants to keep, if Microsoft wants to keep questioning, it's questioning why no one cares. Then you know, we'll let them figure it out. In a sense. All right. Anything else to add? Not to me. this game that no one knows anything about or cares about. Look, I've so already is forgotten. It like, is it part of Alan Wake's universe? Oh, okay. You reminded me of something. So the only positive thing that kind of came of this story was the fact that um, there's a weird Easter egg to Alan Wake in the game, where okay. supposedly um, uh, in a classroom, in a lecture, or in a college, um, there is... Um, uh, I, I believe it's either a chalkboard or a class that are, are discussing Alan Wake and they're talking about ideas behind Alan Wake. The character or the game? Yeah. No, that's that That was an either or question. <laughs> you just can't say yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Damn it, oh I thought you were like questioning yourself. Um, no, you know, I'm or... asking you. Is it, are they talking about the? Are they discussing the character as in they're discussing this prolific author who's been doing things or are they discussing the game? The, I they think didn't... they're discussing the character. Okay, cool. But I think there are some clues about the... Because I think what it is, is they're discussing the, the author or the character, but they're also bringing up like questions about the game, in a sense, which I'd imagine people somehow know, in a sense. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, maybe they said, oh, he went to this town and disappeared, in that sense. Not to spoil yeah. anything. But um, I'd much rather have something else to do with Alan Wake, because not after playing Alan Wake... It's like, how are you going to end it like that? Exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, that's how it's going to end? All right. <clears throat> and Alan Wake was really fun. It was. It was a really fun game. I highly re If you have a 360, I highly recommend playing it. Yeah. I mean, I remember beating that game with Obsidian, and I remember he was, like, really getting into it, and it ended, and he was like, oh, okay. Oh, no one spoiled the end, then. Oh, I'm no, we're not it. spoiling it. We're not spoiling oh, it. Don't worry. Phew. I'm just saying. Let's just... So it's an old game. So <laughs> no, all, all we'll say is it has a very cliffhangery ending. That's all, which is a bit like, oh no, where's it gonna end there? Okay, not and in a bad DLC way. Doesn't no. do anything to help. No, it. the DLC is just kind of like. The oh, DLC's good. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I like the DLC. Yeah, I've seen a playthrough, and it's kind of like, oh, they kind of brought that back. That's kind of cool, but it was mm. just like, no, I kind of want you to address the ending. <laughs> yeah, it's they are tangential things that either happen during the game mm, yeah or like slightly after but still not long enough after where it makes an effect on the actual story yeah no one knows yeah. where the fuck it takes place basically they That's were just kind of like oh here's here's a thing i remember when they announced it and people were like is it alan wick 2 and they were like no <laughs> and they were like oh is it dlc and i was like yeah but it's not and then and people were like okay so what is it then and it was like it's it's some it's more alan wake people were like well, and people were like well, what the fuck is it then <laughs> Just stick with Alan Wake, I think. It, it was like Alan Wake fan fiction. Yeah, to some extent, yeah. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was, it was like you said, it was a fun, like, ride, but it was kind of like... It was good fan fiction. Yeah, it's it was good, but it was like, yeah, I didn't really want that. I want number two. Mm. <laughs> Did you like, ever play American Nightmare, the uh, uh, arcade game? No, I didn't. Or... No, I didn't play it. I watched a bit of it, and I thought it was pretty good, but I kind of stayed away from it because I remember wanting to play it. But I've, I've seen, I've seen like maybe about an hour or so of it, and I was like, oh, it's cool, but once again, I wanted number two. <laughs> but that's fine. But you'd recommend it, though, yeah? Uh, yeah, I really... Well, I haven't played the arcade version. The okay. Arcade game. I, I've been, it's one of those things where I keep hoping it'll go on sale so I can buy it. Because mm -hmm. I can't... I don't justify $15 purchases on my 360. It's understandable. Um, even though my 360 is still my main fucking console. It's perfectly fine. I'm getting behind, man. I'm falling back. I'm no, still that's fine. Running that's through fine. the backlog. That's fine. He got even bad when I was recording some stuff yesterday with Ace, and it was like he handed me the PS4 controller, and I was like, "Oh, where's that button?" <laughs> you know, despite the fact most people have had that system for like three years now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ferret, would you like to take the uh, next story? Cool, so would. Cool. Thank you. Because I'm a giant World of Warcraft fan. But basically, what they've done is that um, there was a, a post on Reddit, uh, some random guy, and he posted uh, an image of a survey Blizzard was given out, and it was basically uh, 
a free should they offer an ultimate movie edition of World of Warcraft to with the ticket with the ticket to go see the, the movie Warcraft movie. Yeah. yeah. Now Warcraft. this now this is rumored. Yes. Still a rumor. Yeah, so there's nothing to be confirmed. Yeah. No. So I, I included this because I thought this was very interesting. Because oh. yeah, you can speak a little bit more about your experiences with World of Warcraft. You're the only person. Are you Alliance or Horde, Ferret? Alliance all the way. Okay. okay, I was just about to say, you're the only person who knows anything about World of Warcraft. The only thing I know about World of Warcraft is there were pandas. <laughs> That's the only thing I know about. Yeah. And I'd like just to, I'd like to add the ultimate movie edition of WoW will include the base game, the base game, mm -hmm. the Burning Crusade expansions, Wrath of the Leech King, Cataclysm, Mr. Pandaria, and War and Warlords of Draenor. As Jesus. well as an in exclusive in-game item. Uh, one second. An in-game item and one month for free gameplay. Now, that's a mind blown right there. Yeah, I'm really glad you covered that wow. because I did not write that down because I was like, "Fuck is this? I'm gonna <laughs> just I'm gonna be going and the 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 John goes to fire and the uh, and the the master." Trogue deals, you know, that, that would be me reading this yeah. stuff. And if, if nobody knows what that means, that, that they include every expansion, plus you get an in game item and one month free. That's that's mental. What about the Panda expansion? Is that in there? Uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Pandaria. Okay, Mr. Pandaria. Okay. Uh, I forgot. I just called him Panda. Right? Yeah. I, well, oh, uh, I believe so. The exclusive mounts for WoW are always the fucking coolest looking. They ones. are, aren't they? Yeah. Bloody hell, I've got one of the exclusive ones. Uh, I've, I still have the code for one of them. Oh, which one? I, oh, fuck, I don't know. I think it was... And it's not hustling on the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. It <laughs> You do that on the Blizz podcast. But, um... Yeah, so I'm glad I have you two guys here because I don't know anything about World of Warcraft. I've only ever heard of people talking about it and, you know, you know of pandas. Yeah. But, um... I, I thought this was... A cool idea to some extent. I think it's cool that it's like, hey, you like the film, you can check out the game, which yeah. I honestly don't see too many people who are going to see this film playing World of Warcraft. No. Because they'll probably be like, play games on a computer, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm pretty sure they probably just play like the Happy Wheels, and mm. but this would be a bit more like, why are these people screaming at me? What am I doing? <laughs> kind of but deal. I've, I've, it's kind of sad because I think the reason why they're doing this is because World of Warcraft subscriptions are plummeting. Yeah. It's, oh, it's getting really sad. Yeah, it's not as popular as it was no, before. Isn't, isn't. The, isn't the number one game League of Legends now? Oh, I'd imagine. Must be. I, it probably is because that game going mental. It's, it's actually going off the rocks here. In a good way or a bad way? In a way? good way. Okay. Like, it's getting so popular, as people imagine. But getting back to World of Warcraft, you mm -hmm. know, I I love that game. Brilliant. Although the recent expansions haven't been the best, they've still been solid games. So, yeah. Okay. Um, any any thoughts on this whole idea, Tourette's? Just give you two cents. Uh, I, think, I think it'd be an interesting thing to do. Um, it's one of those things where I know a, a fair amount about WoW, mm -hmm. but my only experience with actually playing WoW is I was playing when, like, I, I, there's, there's a promotion, I don't know if they're still doing it, where you could play the first 20 levels free. Oh, yeah, they still do it. Okay. And I was going around, and, um, some, like, I, I met, like, a, a lady who was helping me going through shit, and she was like, oh, do you want to do a, a, like, a raid? And I was like... Uh, okay and so i was going along and then i accidentally grabbed a piece of gear oh. and somebody typed why did that guy just grab that i got so ashamed i put my hand over the text box and then closed out <laughs> and i haven't loaded fucking wow since wow that's that's oh, quite traumatizing yes. to, to some extent but um it's brutal out there like i had a raid and um, I was halfway through. It was um, it was uh, I forgot which one, but it was a really big rave with a a big dragon boss at the f first at the start of it, mm -hmm. and then a, there's a boat ship, there's a ship ride, but um, I had to go halfway through, mm -hmm. and um, do you um, I have a friend, I'm just gonna call him uh, Big Harry. 
Okay. I was just giving him a little nickname. All right. And um, he was playing with me, and then after I left, I heard them all. They were all roasting me for leaving, and they kicked me out, and they were getting so angry at me because I left halfway. So it's. Because I've heard you play League of Legends and I can I oh. I hear the stress. <laughs> that game gives me the sweats. It's due to, oh, it's so stressful. I've heard you. I've been on the yes. phone with you while you're there going. No, I'll be back in a sec. No, what are you doing? Stop it. I've been on there thinking you're having some kind of like a split personality like <laughs> breakdown over there. It's because it gets very stressful at like high ranks. I'm like near platinum. I'm near diamond five, so it's very stressful. Okay. But um, I, I, I thought this was very interesting because um, the fact that they're literally now selling the game I thought was quite funny. Because <laughs> usually you make a film, a, a film is obviously going to be the um, the big budget adver 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 advert, basically. Yeah. But the fact that they're like, yeah, if you like this film, here's the game for free. I was just, it rubs um, me the wrong way a bit because it's like, no, you should be decent enough to trust people to at least you know i mean the worst you could i mean the most you could do is just advertise it by putting in the trailer based on the hit game that's all you need to do i think to be honest everyone would know it's world of warcraft just by the warcraft name i think generally i think people know of it but i don't think people know that much they probably know it's a game yeah and they probably go oh so it's like second life oh that's but what wow. i think they will what fucking who still that's knows about crazy. second life dude Come i on. I study. Uh, <laughs> the thing is that I think the only bad thing about that is they give way too much away, I think. What does? I, I think that they've given given a bit too much away if they give if they do the um, uh, WoW Ultimate Movie Edition. Because you're practically getting... You're getting every, the whole game presented to you. But I imagine the whole point is they want more people to play, no, so... I, I, but still, I think they could... Because you get a, give them less. You get, <laughs> it's because you get a level ninety with World of, and you get an instant level ninety character with Warlords of Draenor so, expansion. So basically, there's going to be an influx of noobs. So what's what's the highest level on WoW? Uh, hundred, should be yeah. So then you have to work for ten levels. Yeah, and then you've practically at end game. Yeah, but those ten levels will take three Ooh, fucking years. Yeah, yeah. Those, I can understand that. Yeah, mental them levels are. It's fun, though. Hmm. I don't know. It, it, it rubs me the wrong way. Like I said, they just put in the advertising poster based on the hit yeah, game. Exactly. Uh, based on the hit game. Or, or you could do a little box of the game thing. Yeah, you could do that. Or you can, uh, when a DVD comes out, put it in the same box like that. That would or be something good. Like that, yeah, you know they, I mean? just do it with the, the... If you could get a special edition with World of Warcraft. I mean, if you really want to go that far, you can I put in like a, a sneaky joke to the game exactly. in the film somehow. I don't know how they do they, that. They probably will. Uh, yeah. I mean, like the actual game. Yeah, like, I know. The physical game you play yeah. in that sense. Um, but, I don't know. Neat idea, I don't think it'll work. Yeah. Right, so the one and only trailer we're going to be talking about is Hardcore Henry, uh, the oh, official trailer. Oh. Did we all watch this trailer? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched it. Good, so um, I'll start with you, uh, Ferret. Um, thoughts? This is amazing. <laughs> this is an incredible trailer. Like, oh my God, just that perspective as well. At first, I thought it was going to be like a pretty crappy gimmick, you know, trying to revolutionise films and stuff. By doing this, and it, it uh, straight off the bat, I didn't really like the view of it. It mm -hmm. felt a bit too alien for me. Mm -hmm. But when they started getting the action <laughs> scenes, I was like, "Wow, they are really onto something. This is like bloody good." And rarely do tra trailers, movie trailers, give me goosebumps like that. That um, that this one did. It's fucking brilliant, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, um, this film was, I believe, originally shown at some kind of film festival, and a lot of people really fucking liked it. Um, mm. Tourette's, your, your thoughts on the trailer? Okay, so, uh, fair. do you know what the movie was originally called? No. Hardcore. Hardcore. Yeah. So people were Googling, because they had heard the buzz <laughs> about this movie, they were Googling hardcore POV movie. Wow. That's beautiful. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so... So. I don't even think we need to finish that. I think I think people can probably put it together already. So that's why the, it's now called Hardcore Henry. That, yeah. I think that could also 
raise a few more eyebrows if they type like Google. I also <laughs> I also looked at the poster as well, and I do like how because the original poster just says hardcore, and I do like how they've comically just scribbled Henry like just yeah. like slanted as if like it literally like as if, yeah literally as if someone's gone oh fuck just add Henry right there quick <laughs> style up a bit Photoshop done. Well, um, it's a British studio, so I think there's yeah, they've done done a lot of clever. I can, I, I can imagine. I mean, um, but I mean, uh, your, your general thoughts on the trailer as well, though. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just, I just felt like I should bring that. No, up. I that wanted was, you to that bring that up. No, that's beautiful. Um, no, that's fine. Yeah, uh, the trailer I thought was interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't. I think I was with you, Farrah, where I wasn't on board in the beginning. Yeah. But I, I kind of, I kind of got on board eventually. It's the action. Hmm. <laughs> It is the action, but there was a certain scene where I was just like, motherfucker, this is Half-Life. <laughs> Which scene was that? Oh, I don't know. It was when he was talking to the girl and they were being people. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I can't see what you mean. It, it just made me realize it's a guy who can't speak with yeah. a girl and a guy helping him out and getting chased like a motherfucker by bad people. Mm. And it's all, and there's no cut scenes. It's all one one take, Continuous one talk. fluid. Yeah, uh, I'd imagine there must be obviously harder scene, cuts within yeah, the film because yeah. there is one point where he does get knocked out. So I'd imagine yeah. obviously there is oh, going to be a black space there. They have to, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying like that. But I'm just saying no, it's yeah. not like there, there isn't a, there isn't a breakup between like exposition, exposition, exposition no. to mm. fighting. Yeah. Like in it's like it is like Half Life in the way that there there isn't a cutscene version of it yeah. where it's. You so see the smooth. two people. It's yeah. always from Henry's point of view, mm-hmm. and it's um, it's all like he can move around and do stuff in the trailer, like or, or in the uh, exposition, like how you can in Half Life, yeah. yeah, where there are no there are no conventional cutscenes. Things just happen around you, and you have to either listen or ignore it. Okay. It's interesting that you picked that up. I don't think anyone's actually. I know some people have linked it, going, "Oh, it's the, like a first-person shooter, like game." You know, which I can understand that. And I do like how a lot of people have like tried to be like, "Oh, this is the the future of Oculus Rift," and it's like, "Oh, Oculus Rift." Okay. Uh, Not gonna no. lie. I kind of hope there's a game. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was just thinking of right now. I would buy the shit out of a hardcore Henry game. Yes. So would I. I mean, technology is very young at the moment. And when I mean young, I mean just just fucking pointless. <laughs> but, no, I'm not talking about Oculus. Oh, I'm just saying, no. like, a game in general. I would be okay with doing that sort of, uh, just a first-person shooter, POV shooter, uh, with of the hardcore Henry game. I would watch the shit out of it. I would play the shit I out would. of it. I would recommend the game Shadow Warrior. Because that game is ridiculous, over the top, you have guns, samurai swords, fighting demons, completely self-aware, stupid Ooh. game. And it's got a sequel which looks Spe- even dumber, and but good in the way. A game like that, where it has all those things, you should play the Deadpool video game, Raccoon. Yeah, I probably should, but I, I think I think Ace has it, but I don't know. Um, Ace needs to get his dick out of his ass and fucking give you the game. <laughs> Yeah, Can't confirm shit. that's Come why he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's going to go see Deadpool today. But um, <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I can't get mad at him then. No, but like um, my my thoughts on the film was I knew I've known about this film for about three months because, like I said, I knew it, it was in a festival and it got a lot of buzz. And um, this film looks like it's going to be probably the dumbest and probably over the top, most over the top film of this this year. And I'm just. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Hopefully, it, hopefully its aesthetic holds it. Is hopefully the, its aesthetic is not the only good thing that's great. Hopefully, at least it has a decent story in some sense. Not that I'm not that anyone's really watching for the story, no. but I hope it's just not like. I hope either they don't have a story or they just like try and get a decent one out there. Which yeah. I'm guessing it's just who stole your girl? Get your girl. That's I'm guessing that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, to be honest. But I don't really care as long as yeah. it's got all that action they showed in the trailers. I don't really care either. Oh I just want a mindless fucking feast of really fucking brilliant stunts. Okay. As shown in the trailer. If that's the I'm... case um, I'll just say this real quick. The director of this film, he actually did... Uh, this was the inspiration for for um, Hardcore Henry. Uh, the Biting, Abo- Biting Elbows Bad Motherfucker music video is essentially that. 
it's essentially what kind of gave him the idea and kind of greenlit the film so uh we'll put it in the description but definitely go check out that music video because it's, it's same guy same concept done on a slightly lesser budget but it's worth checking out so you can so even if you're kind of maybe still on the fence or don't quite get it you can at least see where he was originally coming from uh yeah Thrich, you had something to say yeah I'm a, I'm a, you said this was going to be the only uh trailer we talked about i'm going to mm -hmm. be the worst and bring up two different trailers that's now I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about stuff and i'm like man i kind of want to talk about these no that's fine <laughs> um did you guys see the final batman versus superman trailer no. oh yes no i'll say it okay raccoon mm -hmm. i've seen the first four seconds of it and then i closed it because the first four seconds were really fucking cool Okay. And oh. I was like, this is either going to spoil a bunch of shit that I want to see in theaters, or it's going to disappoint me. Either way, I don't want to see it, and I closed it. Oh, okay. mate, mate, it's... It's this, good, right? This should have been the only trailer. That's the thing. Mm. And, and the one where he's in the, the, the short 15 seconds one. Yeah. That yeah, one and this one. That 15 seconds was trailer enough. That Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was that brilliant. That fucking thing got me hyped. Hmm. Oh, it's just... it's. And the thing is, it didn't spoil anything. That's the beauty of it. It actually didn't. Okay. It's not a spoiler trailer. It's actually, like, the, the previous one. That was a spoiler <sighs> one. That was, like... Spoiler City. Spoiler City. This one didn't even have Doomsday in it. That's the thing. Good. That's what was beautiful no, about no it. No one you wants Doomsday. Thought, but the thing is, you wouldn't have thought he's in, in the movie. That's They didn't show any of this spoiler stuff. I'm still so annoyed about Doomsday being that, in that mate, film. That was... That was the worst. We really talked about I, like no oh. joke. I I wrote a whole fucking page <laughs> just on that trailer alone, and we talked about that thing. Me and Ace from like I think you as well for a, yeah. like a good twenty minutes because we was just it was oh. that was a travesty as a trailer. We're not talking about the film. We're talking about that trailer. But I haven't seen this trailer because I honestly don't give a shit about this film anymore. But um oh no. I saw, I saw the one, I'm, I'm guessing the scene you're talking about is the scene where, like, Superman's like, I'm going to punch you, and, and Superman, and Sp Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider yeah, Spider-Man Spider 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 comes in, and he's like, hey, what's up, dudes? You thought I was Marvel? Shut up, I'm DC. No. I'm Sony now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, proprietary. Fucking air horns. Exactly. He would, like, get wrecked. And, um, and basically, like, Batman's like, nah, I'll block your punch. To which I was like, hmm, that's bullshit, but I guess that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because if you know anything about comics, you know realistically Batman would be dead, or he would have oh, lost his he arm would have at least. Been, just gone. Let's be serious. <laughs> yeah, even his armor is like, yeah, that's cool, but like, no. Um, but your your second trailer as well. No, if you're uh, done He's with that, the Super Bowl cut of the TMNT two trailer. Oh, actually, I did see that. I haven't, okay. so I'll let you two talk about that quick. No, you need to stay silent in a quiet corner. It's okay, you can interact. <laughs> I'm ugly. They, they, they bring out Krang. See, that's all cool, but as soon as they showed the Technodrome, I was like, kind of messed up with like that kind of like Transformers like CGI look because the Technodrome is not a floating ball of, you know, it's not, it's not, um, uh, What'd you call it? Uh, the Transformers home planet, basically. Hmm. Which I was a bit annoyed about. Come on, man. Bebop and Rocksteady, though. They look so fucking cool. We we talked about this on the podcast, and yes, they do look cool. And I am happy they are addressing, or well, seem to be addressing, all the negative stuff yeah. that people had to say about the film before and after release. But, um, I mean, except for, like, uh, April O'Neil's um, actress, Megan Fox, who's, I don't know why she's still in this film, oh. is it? Her time is done. Replace her like you did in Transformers 4. Like, come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they replaced her. Exactly. Yeah, they oh, replaced well. her nicely. And they thought... I'm pretty sure most people didn't even notice. No. Nope. Um, but... She wasn't even important in any of them. And who's the other guy? The the, the guy who's just there? Who? Casey Jones. No. No, because Casey Jones has a relevance in, in Teenage Mutant Turtles. What do you mean Turtles. in Transformers? No, Teenage Mutant Turtles. Oh. The, uh, oh, Bill Arnett? Yeah. Oh, him. What does yeah. he do? He's the camera guy. Supporting camera. He's the camera guy? Supporting camera. I think so. I don't know. I didn't see the fucking first TMNT movie. Yeah, no, he doesn't need to be in this film. His time is done. Your contract is up. Not unless you want to be Tiger Claw, then you need to go. Let's try to make a <laughs> franchise. I will, I will on that. 
<laughs> but uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, yeah, well, duh. Yeah. They want they want to take this as far as possible. Um, so, they, so they need him to keep playing in them roles. But that. he has like no, he can't do anything. He's funny. At guy. least they at least gave April O'Neil something to do in this film because she yeah, shuts it off. Yeah, basically. Just fu- which I guess is fine for all the horny teens who want to see that. Exactly. Because you know, all the kids who watch the you know the under PG rated yeah. show on Nickelodeon can go see a grown up sluttier version of April O'Neil who is played at, by a who is, who is a kid in the cartoon and is now yeah. an adult That's what they, in the films. He jumped up the sex on that. Sex appeal on that one. Yeah, Jesus. it's a bit confusing because a lot of boys and girls are going to be like, yeah, I want to see this film. And it's like, that yeah. character's April O'Neil. I can't wait for April O'Neil. I guess she got older, but why is she acting that way? Well, I didn't know it was one of Daddy's movies again. That's on a computer. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't be like that. <laughs> it's basically a porno. When she ever she Her gets life, on. Yeah. Her life, yeah. I feel like we could find Rule Thirty Four with the whole TMNT stuff. Oh, I, oh. of course, that it's it's a cartoon from the eighties. We're expecting hundreds. Obviously, you only got to look, but um, I can create them too. It's a draw. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do that, that's fine. But you, I'm not going to. That's. I'm okay, just throwing out. Because I was going to say, you put that under another pen name. <laughs> but um, that's, that's another podcast. See yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the trailer was fine other than that I mean it's just the Technodrome kind of annoyed me a bit because it was just like no keep it was bad enough Shredder looked like a Transformer in the first one oh, yeah. <laughs> keep the Transformers out of here and Tourette's I think that's your bottle that making that whistling noise I think it is anyway what whistling noise Some, something's whistling okay I'm sorry I'll stop being hydrated no it's fine just because I think you're squeezing the air out of the bottle that's what I think you're doing. Nope. It's capped. Hmm. I don't know what the hell that... Okay. Yeah, I think it is, because I think uh, I just heard yeah. my mum say something <laughs> involving my name. But, um, yeah. So those are the two trailers you want to bring up, which is fine. I completely yeah. glossed over that, because Super Bowl was just... whatever. Uh, Super Bowl was terrible. Yeah, I can quite imagine. The only good thing that I think came out of Super Bowl was, I guess, these okay. um, promos... And the Pokemon uh, trailer they had, but we already talked about that. Yeah. Um, so, it brings us to our final news story, being um, talking about the Hateful Eight. And um, <laughs> and a certain incident that happened on the uh, filming of uh, the Hateful Eight. Well, now, we're going to avoid spoilers, because uh, me and Ace have seen the film. Tourette's, have you seen it yet? No, no. you haven't. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll avoid spoilers. I won't reveal character names or anything like that, or what what in you know time and space it happens but essentially at some point in the film uh jennifer jason lee's character is playing guitar and kurt russell's character comes in takes a cake to take the guitar off her and smashes it <laughs> turns out that guitar was um <laughs> the real deal on loan from the um <clears throat> excuse me sorry the uh, martin guitar museum as, as they had made um, replicas based on the guitar dating back to 1870 and the, what was meant to happen was she was meant to play the guitar before he smashes it they were supposed to take out one of the doubles they had and then he smashes it no one told Kurt Russell so he smashed the guitar right in front of uh, Jennifer's face so when you guys hopefully do see the film you can see her reaction to that fact because yes. she is like oh. What like, like she's like uh okay because she like because she looks around but she's actually looking at the cast and crew going yeah he he just fucking smashed that so that's why her reaction is so like because she's playing a song all summer and he's like oh fuck this shit smashes it and she's like <laughs> <laughs> that makes for a beautiful shot at least it does but the museum was less than happy because originally they um, they thought what happened it was an accident they thought a camera light dropped on it and it smashed to which they're like oh that's okay it was an accident we lost the guitar okay it wasn't until one of the production guys said oh no cot russell smashed it they then said we are never going to lend a film any of our stuff ever again (laughs) so that i mean that happened and i guess it's kind of funny yeah, <laughs> but it's pretty funny yeah we lost a piece of history sadly in the process which is a bit of a shame but um yeah I, I, not much more you can no, it's, it's not. done <laughs> it's done that's why i saved it for the last because it's kind of like a bittersweet story but um i guess the only bottom line is go see the film 
Yep. Okay. <laughs> Go see it just for that scene. If you hate history and the history of guitars and music, <laughs> go see the film. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so that brings us to our discussion, which I titled uh, Tips from the Hitched and uh, Advice from the Singles, plus a recommendation from me. Now, it's Valentine's Day today, the day we're recording. The day this podcast goes up, it will not be Valentine's Day. So we've missed it, you know, time of, rec- time of you guys hearing it. So I thought... This discussion would be cool to kind of address some things about um, Valentine's Day coming from the two guys I have with me who are in relationships to kind of share any tips they have about their significant other for next Valentine's Day or to be a real gentleman or human being all year long because you don't have to appreciate one person just on one day. Nope. You have to work, lo- You have, like as one song says, you have to work at love every single day. It's not a one-time thing because then... You know, one or the yeah. other is going to disappear. <laughs> that's what that's what really confused me about Valentine's Day. It's like me and my girlfriend. We don't, we don't, we don't like the idea because mm-hmm. it's pretty stupid and stuff. To, if you think about it, like what what you just said, mm-hmm. living one, you have to love someone for one day. Like what? That's, well, we'll that's show, why we don't. We have we'll to show, show the aff- like yeah. only show real affection. Yeah. that one day is what people do. Because it seems to be the only time where people will be like, hey, I have to go and buy yeah. them flowers. I have to go and do something nice for exactly. them. And it's, it's like, mm. I mean, we're not trying to say you should be, you know, loving your partner no. every single day. We're just saying that's it's the appreciation no. yeah, that just, should be I mean, delivered you should love often. your partner every single day. That's, yeah. that's the funny thing. My girlfriend showed me a picture she had. She said, um... Fuck Valentine's Day, I love you every day. Which I thought was funny. Okay, yeah. But it makes sense, you know. Yeah. It's all the same. But it, it, it's, it seems that way. Because obviously it's uh, it's just a, like a, some sort of fictional day where it's like, oh, yeah. got to show you love someone on this day. And it's like, no. Oh, everyone's going out to look for a date just for that day and stuff. Yeah. All the singles parties that's going on. It's crazy. I imagine they must be depressing. Yeah, imagine. I imagine it's just a, hot, a bunch of guys in one room looking for that one girl we're going to attend. <laughs> like, where, where is she coming? Where is she? Guys, <laughs> guys, I've heard something even more important. There's a girl in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's re- re- regarding to one Simpsons episode where um, mm. it's a... Uh, it's like a... Oh, what is it? Um, Like a conference for uh, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And then, like, one of the characters goes, there's a girl in the audience, and then they go and attack, like, Groundskeeper Willie, and he's like, I'm not a girl, this is a skirt, and they're like, you're the closest we've got, <laughs> get him! <laughs> I remember that one. Oh, gosh, that's a great line. But, I mean, um, so, do you two have any um, advice you would like to give out to anyone if they want to celebrate Valentine's Day or don't want to celebrate ha- um, Valentine's Day for that part? It could be anything. I'm, I'm not too fussed. Do you want to shoot first, Tourette's? Um, we can, go, we can do, like, one point and then go back and forth between us. That sound good? Yeah, that sounds beautiful. All right, I'll start first. Let her shove her thumb up your asshole. <laughs> it's really fun. It helps. We're talking about Valentine's Day things, sweetie. Go back in the other room. <laughs> oh. Give me a look. All right, yeah, there you go. Let her, uh, let her, stick, let her stick your thumb up. Uh, let you, you let her stick her thumb up your asshole. It'll make sex better. It'll show that you really care. And then you can just have like these little like subtle like ooh thumbs up, and then you'll be thinking about sex <laughs> Low in, in, in like a nose. covert way. That's useful. That's I guess. <laughs> I'm sure people can interpret that. In different ways. But I don't sure. know how I'm gonna like convince my girlfriend to do it now. I don't know. Just just have a listen oh. to the whole podcast or something. I don't know. I've got to be more subtle than that. I got to guide the thumbing. <laughs> just when she's asleep, you just gotta <laughs> get her hand. And then. Oh, so at the end, I guess we should do it, go through. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, what um yeah. uh, do you want to throw a tip out there? Uh, um, throw it? Uh, really, if you're, is this the singles or people who are No, I'm doing the singles, because I'm the only alone person. (laughs) Um, well, alright, guys, uh, tell your significant other, just tell them, 
let's not celebrate Valentine's Day, but instead show them gratitude. I think once every week or something. Just it's the little things you do. In like, like a make up early. you mean like in a like a big way in a sense like this... hey I just happened to get you a box of those breadsticks you really like here yeah, you go just you know something <laughs> like that just show your appreciation every now and then don't have, don't have, don't wait like one day in a year because I think some people do that they're like. All right, well, I don't have to buy her that again. I yeah, you see, a lot, people, you see a lot of people freak the fuck out, and they're like, fuck, I forgot to get the flowers. <laughs> there's, a, there's an old saying uh, where it's, you should have one dinner every week, one, not, uh, one date every month, and one vacation every year. And that's, that's the way to keep a relationship fresh. That sounds nice. You should be able to sit down and have one dinner each week, at least yeah. one... Um, one date night a mm. month at least and mm -hmm. one vacation a year at least I imagine when yeah. you mean like uh dinner you mean like obviously a cooked meal in some sense but um, yeah, yeah. No, a little romantic don't take yeah. it to mickey d's you know <laughs> no but, that's for date night raccoon oh, come yeah. on Ooh. well then it's cheeky nando's isn't it <laughs> <laughs> no don't don't take anyone to nando's and i'm gonna be giving out you know, frowns to anyone in Nando's today. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true actually. But um, there is definitely people taking their dates there. Okay. In, Guess in... where we're going for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm going Nando's. Who oh. wants a cheeky one? <laughs> I'm gonna get my peri peri sauce. What he brought the peri jeez. Yeah. Bring the peri peri sauce to Nando's. Yeah. That's a new look. Yes, exactly. That's. <laughs> or just steal a bunch of. Them. That's like bringing a tub of tomato ketchup to McDonald's. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's five pints, there. It's five pints. So. Oh gosh, Eddie, do you, would you like to share another uh, tip, uh, Threads? Yeah, sure. Um, you you can't you can't just say I think you're pretty or I love you. You have to say. Your eyes are beautiful. Your Ooh. hair makes your hair melts me. Your smile it Ooh. just makes me want to curl up in your vagina and die. Oh, you got you got to you got to specify. You got to say I love you because you're so sweet to me. I love you because of all the nice things you do. I love you because of the way you smell. Thing you gotta you gotta specify to actually make them feel pretty. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you say oh you look pretty today every every X amount of time. Mm. Or oh you look um, or oh I love you. It's great to hear. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Mm. But making sure that you specify once in a while, it's it, it makes it it go it goes from like a nice ice cream to like a fucking fried ice cream. Mm. That's a good point actually. Yeah, that's um, yeah exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. I think maybe some guys are like cause I think some guys sometimes they freak out and they're like oh you beautiful you know and it, <laughs> in that like, voice is why I hope. Yeah, I, I've heard they're people. Beautiful. Yeah, like the Kermit the Frog. Oh, that's. Uh, I just like to say, uh, you're pretty you're beautiful. Uh, but um, oh, I don't need that. Though. Yeah, don't don't do Kermit the Frog on any girl you're trying to impress. Not unless she is the biggest Muppets fan, then. No. Or if she is, if, if she is a Muppet, in fact. <laughs> what? There's, there's some people who have girlfriends who are like pillows and stuff. Oh, you mean like the body pillows and that? Yeah. Um. And some guy even fell in love with a Muppet. I watched a documentary on it. That's funny. A Muppet as in, like, the Muppets actual, we know? Or a... And just a Muppet. Do you know the term? Not the not the characters. Just a Muppet. So do you mean a puppet, then? A Muppet. Because the Muppets are puppets. But they're yeah, called the Muppets. Puppet. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Muppets aren't puppets. They're, they're people. No, they are puppets. <laughs> yes. You're a liar. Exactly. They are a production of Jim Henson. That's yes. retarded. I'm c oh, that's... Raccoon. What Wait, are you talking about? Come on. I'm so confused. Just forget what I just said. <laughs> Let's all erase that. All right. Yeah. You wanna you wanna hit him off with one more tip? Uh, um, if you can think just of one. Really. Um. Uh. Also, I think some people tend to get carried away saying "I love you, I love you" all the time. Yeah. Just um. Really. Really reaching the nobody, barrel. nobody wants to get suffocated in a relationship. So, like, remember to work on yourself. Yeah, keep the pillow off your her. Own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, remember to have your own life away from her and her own life because, you know, you need to sometimes. You need some 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 space. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. And when you get back, to, when you 
when you meet again, it's always fresh. I'm, I'm just basically talking about, you know, trying to really... relationships. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's me. Any other tips you guys want to throw out? Oh, um, make sure that you do things that she wants to do. Make sure that you, without asking sometimes, or without her asking, say, oh, do you want me to rub your feet? Oh, do you want me to rub your back? Um, oh, and when she says something about what she's doing, ask her more questions about it. That's oh, the best way to yes. get into a relationship. And that goes for if, both If a both girl genders, is yeah. like, oh, I am working with a politician, blah, 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 don't just be like, oh, okay, and then talk about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That is interesting. Please tell me more. What what exactly. sort of political uh, stances does he have? What um, what do you do in the campaign? Things like that. Hmm. And I might be referencing something from uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, but yeah, what, you what the fuck ever. Yeah, I can I can make a Star Wars reference if I want to. God damn it. Yeah, of course you can. Um, it, it's true though because I you know they don't give a shit. I mean most of the time when you're meeting someone new, especially if you want to get intimate in a sense, they don't give a shit about what you do. They don't care. <laughs> they ain't interested in you. They want to talk from exactly. both sides. Exactly, it's true to be honest. Some, I mean, they just met you. Selfish, they just really. met you, of course. Yeah. But the thing is, this I... is my girlfriend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, just a quick little tip, I guess. One more before I hand it to you, Raccoon. Yeah. Is uh, never get angry when she's really indecisive or he's indecisive, because it's gonna happen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. They're g- you're gonna say, "What do you want to eat?" They're going to say, I don't know. And then you're going to choose something. And they're going to be like, nah. Don't get angry when that happens. Just just keep going with it. That's that's all. you got to have a bit of patience. You need, to, you need to put up with it. Yeah. As long as it's not like some like bullshit situation where they're saying they don't know, but they actually know. And yeah. it's like, no. Oh. Just tell me. It's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fine. Don't be coy. If you already know, just let yeah. me know. It's fine. If it's yes. a shit film, let me know. It's don't, true list every single 20 film because then it can get annoying but it's like you know be just i would prefer someone who's just a little bit more straightforward i yeah. want to see this shit film okay you're paying you know <laughs> you know it's dealt with yeah. <laughs> you know Definitely. I mean? and people wonder why i'm single but <laughs> no, i think that's a good Not way anymore, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly i can see the emails now <laughs> but uh no, but I mean, that's a good point. And I just wanted to kind of say that um, the main problem with Valentine's Day, I don't, I honestly don't believe in Valentine's Day in any kind of sense. And it's not because I'm single, it's just I never have. Um, yeah. But I think this is all going out to the people who are probably kind of maybe upset because like, oh, so everyone, my friends are out, they've got their oh, girlfriend, yeah. boyfriend, you know that. Don't fucking worry about it. Don't worry about it because... One of the downsides to being in a relationship is you spend a lot of money, time, and effort. I mean, especially if I mean if you can afford to do it, do it. I'm not saying stay away from girls and guys because you're some kind of selfish money hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying, if you are, what I'm essentially saying is you don't need no one. If you don't have no one, just calm it. Yeah, if it happens. It happens. Just leave it be. Exactly. There are pros to being singles and they're being single and their negatives. The only negative really is the fact that a lot of ignorant motherfuckers are going to brag about what they're doing on Valentine's Day. Anyone who is doing that in your circle of friends, cut them. Cut them out of your life because you don't need people like that. Oh yeah, where's your girlfriend? Where's your girlfriend? Oof, Fuck them. That douchebag. Fuck them. You don't need that. Don't worry about it. So, one thing I decided to do for um, people who are either in relationships right now on Valentine's Day or um, single or whatever is I'm going to recommend a playlist for people to listen to and I'm going to recommend the um, the album, but more specifically one side of this double LP being Outkast's um, Speaker Box, The Love Below, which is a fantastic uh, yes. rap album which was released back in... Oh, I completely forget the uh, year was released in 2003. Now, both um, the rappers in this duo of Outkast being um, Big Boy and Andre 3000 did this uh, album, which was unfortunately their last album, but it was a fantastic one at that. Yep. Um, Big Boy is a more straight cut rapper. He does speaker box. You can listen to that if you want. Soon it is the first one that appears on track listing. But I would like to recommend The Love Below by Andrew 3000 because he provides some awesome kind of soulful, jazzy rap songs 
to do with the love below and i just wanted to recommend that whole section but more specifically a few songs being uh love hater happy valentine's day spread prototype she lives in my lap i also want to recommend roses um behold a lady um love is war and vibrate if those are the only songs you want to if, if you don't want to listen to the whole album i would recommend listening to those ones i'm going to put them in the description yeah. But they're all great songs which are kind of, I picked them in a sense because if you're in love, they're great to listen to. If you're single, there's a few that are great to listen to. It kind of gets the mixture of both because quite a few songs do have very dark tones um, being uh, songs like uh, Vibrate and um, uh, what is the uh, She Lives In My Lap, which uh, things can get very interesting. But you don't have to be a genius to figure out what some of these are about. But that's just a quick recommendation from me to you guys. And I think we're going to move on to our final section being the video of the episode, which is um, History of Japan. Straight, that's the title. It is about 10 minutes long and it is going to tell you the history of Japan. It is very silly. It's really, really good. It's too. very silly, but also quite informative. <laughs> yeah. Which is great. It's I... the best type of learning. I think so, yeah. This guy should consider doing some kind of weird educational program thing. Is there more of them, his videos like that? I think for now this is a one-off that he's done. Oh. Oh, and, okay. I, and I also kind of don't want him to do another one, but if he does, I'm sure he can do a great job of it. But I um, highly recommend this video. It's um ton of fun. And um, I'd like to say, uh, I don't, before we actually end the podcast, I'd like to say, it's podcast episode 30. And we did say it was kind of a big deal, not just because it's Valentine's Day, but because episode 31, there are going to be some changes on this podcast, big time. I'm not going to say all of them. I know we've been talking about some of the changes, but here's a few things that should be enforced from 31 onward. So by, by then, we are going to have an email for people to, you know, kind of send us questions and ask us things and just get in touch with the podcast and the channel obviously there's no name for it because i've created it yet um what was the other thing um we're going to have a better looking thumbnail in a sense we're actually going to have something that looks more like was going to be uniform mm. that says this is the podcast obviously the title says that but, yeah, but something that is just yeah. a bit more uh tidier um we're going to also be trying to improve the audio quality of this podcast we're going to try and have it sound a little better because sometimes it can be a bit weird um there's a few other few secret things we're going to work on and the final thing is we're going to be providing a download link from 31 onward Oof. now i am Sorry. going to try and go back and provide a download link for every single one prior to that mm. It won't take that. It's obviously that's going to take some time, but I will definitely make sure from 31 onward, there will be a download link to download the audio. And I will probably, and I'll just try and figure out a way of um, putting all links within that download, whether it's just on like a doc or like a note. So, so that way, so people don't feel like they have to either just, you know, watch the video on YouTube. They're not restricted to that, or they have to go and convert it from another source. They can just see it. First line of description, download it straight, listen to it. And there's one more big change. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, it's been really great being oh, here. Yeah. It's been <laughs> I don't even understand what's happening. You went from British to crying British, and that scares me. It's my departure. It's been brilliant here. And I wish Ace really good. He's, he's becoming ferret now. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Is real or not? <laughs> <laughs> He's having a panic attack. No, no, no I'm joking. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, Damn you. I'm here for the... Made care. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere, but that was just a quick update I wanted to say for the, um, uh, for the future of this podcast. And uh, we got a ton of things still to come for the rest of the channel, for the rest of this year. Um, one thing I can promise as of next week, after Oof. this podcast goes up, there will be um, impressions video number four. On the next uh, cartoon that I've done, that's pretty much done. They will be back from now on. I'm going to be finishing up 2015 and moving on to 2016 because 2016 cartoons have started to prop up and there should be some reviews coming very, very soon. But we'll see how soon. But um, anything else you two want to add before we end the podcast? Um, 
everyone yeah, needs yeah. to keep a lookout for the Copper Copper Fist tournament gameplays. Oh yeah, people you're gonna, need to keep you're a gonna, lookout. You're gonna for that. tease um, yes. King of Copper Fist tournament one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right then. That's uh, a project we've been working on, and um, it's close to being finished. But I mean, if you're a fan of a particular game, you might be able to guess what is coming very soon. But uh, we'll see um, yeah. in the future. Uh, Tourette's? Um, it's something that I only rem just remembered when we were talking about relationship stuff, and it's something that we don't have a lot to talk on, talk on just yet. Sure. But everyone should be on the lookout about what Crash Bandicoot is doing. Yeah, Ooh. that's actually... Okay, thank you for bringing that up, because I stayed away from this, because any time someone brings up Crash Bandicoot, they're usually misinformed, and they usually go, Oh, why, does, why, why doesn't Sony just make another Crash game? Why doesn't Naughty Dog just make another one? It's like, because they don't own the rights. It's, it's Universal Interactive. Whoa. They oh, own yeah. the rights, and they've just fucked the rights over since. Um, yeah, so would you like to go into this a little bit more, if you know? It's... There's not a lot happening. Um, yeah. PlayStation Middle East, mm -hmm. uh, their Twitter teased a picture of Crash Bandicoot, which says um, something in Arabic. So yeah. I can't read it. Um, that was on the 6th of February. Mm -hmm. And just today, there was a uh, bigger like article made by IGN that I'm gonna link and you guys can all read yeah we'll put that in the uh, description as soon as we as of right now don't have all the information or have like the source or it wasn't in the original uh um listing but if this news is concrete or we get more news it will it will be the first story we talk about on 31 if something cool happens if something comes of it yes because i've been seeing a lot of people posting a particular image of Crash Bandicoot Returns, and I was like, yeah. oh, that's a nice Photoshop mock-up. Oh, if only they did that. But just to briefly talk about it, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. I'd be happy about it. I like 3D platformers. Yeah, I mean, I don't know whether Naughty Dog would even uh, consider making it. I'm pretty sure they... If there is a game in the works, I'm pretty sure Naughty Dog is not making this yeah, game. Yeah, probably. Because I, I'm pretty it's sure... Yeah, because Nudie Dog are very much like, no, we got Uncharted and Last of Us, we're good. Because, yes. I mean, Uncharted was originally going to be Jack 4. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is kind of... Yeah, I, and I would have been so excited about that, because that's one of my favourite games. And it makes it even worse, because originally what happened was, they were going to do Jack 4, and then they were like, oh no, let's do something new. And so they were like, okay, we'll split half the team to do Uncharted, half the team to do Jack 4. And then they just went, no, we're doing Uncharted. And it was kind of like, mm, you guys probably should have done Jack. Maybe you brilliant. probably should have like, made a smaller Jack game and then that would have done well and then done it. both. But technically finished, Jack. Is it? They could have just done another trilogy. No, no, I mean like just another one. And since they were considered making another one, so why don't you just finish that one? I didn't be uh, Because yeah. it turned into The Last of Us. Yeah. It turned into Last Yeah, it was like, la yeah, was it Last of Us? That's just... Yeah. The, yeah, the, all the, of their the, games the, just turned into They split ones. up into two groups, one to work mm. on Uncharted, mm. and then one to work on Jack 4, mm. and the people yeah. who worked on Jack 4 uh, turned into the people who worked on The Last of Us. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. I mean, we still got a good game out of it, but it's kind of like, ah, uh, you know, because if you look right now, um, Sony's big boys, they're fucking dead. Sackboy's still around. I'm talking about PS1. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm talking about Crash, Spyro, and Jack. Yeah. They're, they're dead, yeah, to, for the for most part. Sly came back, but then no one knows where Sly 5 is, because the team who made it, they've said nothing. They, and, they um, did that just, secret I... ending and was like, fuck, we don't know. <laughs> um, Spyro is oh. so far gone, I don't even think... No, he is ever coming there's back. There's no coming back from that abyss. No, like, Spyro's still around. He's in he's Skylanders, just... though. That's the yeah. problem. He's Sky not Landers. anymore, though. He looks like a, like, yeah, like got... a purple pug at this point. He, his name is not even on the title anymore. You know, it was originally Spyro yeah. Sky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I know. And then eventually his name just fucking disappeared, and now he's like, according to the kids, he's the worst character in the game. He's not... Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's the worst character in the game. Wow, he's not making a comeback, let's be serious. Activision have him, and they know people want Spyro. Yeah, I Activision has crashed. really want Spyro, man. Uh, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, because, um, yeah, they took it off uh, Universal, right? So, um, yeah, it doesn't. 
I think Sony could buy all three of them. Well, they could buy Crash and Spyro back easily. And I think the other question is, you know, who, who obviously who would work on it? Because I don't think the original guys would. No. I mean, I think, um, who are the original guys who made, um, oh, Sucker Punch made um, Sly. I think they should go back and... Yeah, Insomniac should definitely go... Yeah, Insomniac for Spyro. I mean, Insomniac... I mean, after they do... I I really want them to do the new Ratchet game, release that game, release that film, start the future, future series, and then be like, hey, here's Spyro. That's what I'd like them to do. I think that would be great. But, um... I wouldn't be surprised, because Sony is in it to win it. Sony's trying, man. They and they will do whatever is in their power to make sure that they destroy and crush everyone. And their main plan is working because they are just buying everything. Yeah, I they just buy everything. I mean, they got the power and they got the reputation. I mean, they essentially bought Psychonauts two. Yeah. They have that game on lock, pretty much. They have yeah. the Final Fantasy seven remake. I mean, the only things they need to do now is ensure that Beyond Good and Evil two is on their system. Uh. Why are you making uh? I don't like that. I don't like that game. Well, people want it. Don't make any noises. Um, they need to ensure that they get that game off Ubisoft. They need to ensure that they. What else do people want? Oh, I'm trying to think. I know there's another game that people really, really want. I'm, I'm probably thinking of the new Legend of Zelda game, but oh, well, fanboys that. are gonna cry regardless of whether it's good or not. But um, they need to get that and you know, crash and bring Sly back and Spyro and then they're good because then they would have really captured the nostalgia market. Yeah. And then they've won. Because what's Microsoft going to do? Bring back Perfect Dark. <laughs> bring back Halo. Oh, oh, wait. Hey, Rare Replay, man. Oh, wait. Another Halo. Yeah, but I Rare think... Rare Replay did well. It did well. It did do well. And I mean, hopefully their new pirate game does well because I, I guess Microsoft just realized they exist. And, um, I mean, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably do something to do with Banjo because once Ukulele comes out and whether that game is shit or not, it's going to turn some heads and it's going to get oh some God. people playing. That game, have you seen, like, have you seen the snake character in that game? I saw the, um, the dinosaur character, but I didn't see the snake. Okay, the, the snake wears pants. <laughs> and its what? name is Trouser. It's a trouser snake that wears <laughs> pants. And I love it. Well, that's weird because like it's ridiculous. Wait, so the snakes wearing pants, but the main two characters still aren't wearing clothes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna link you to the. the sure, the, please do. The, there you go. Oh, I think I have seen that character actually. Yeah. Wears pants. It's amazing. It's cool as hell, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think when when Sony does, I I don't know. We, we can speculate about Crash. I mean, <laughs> I kind of want another Crash game. I, I really want a Crash Team Racing, actually. Oh, that would yeah. be really good. I'd, I'd like another game because the original one was great. The other, I think, two that came out was just like, okay, I guess they're decent. Yeah, they, they were meh, from yeah, my understanding. They were meh. They had some cool characters, and that's about it. But, um, because the one thing Sony hasn't really tried is they, well, tried and succeeded is a kart racer yeah they had like a sack boy kart racer they had the mod nation racer one and the sack boy one and it though both of them failed yeah. um and this kind of and this kind of links to like my whole um thing because i know we've talked about this before we've talked about how microsoft once again we're going to bash microsoft how microsoft is like um fucking shit tier when it comes to like exclusives and characters yeah and i was i remember i told i said to you microsoft will never be able to release uh, um, a, a fighting brawler like a game like Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Sony can do it because they have yeah. the characters. If you exclude Sony's was all terrible because they didn't it was. choose the right characters. It was. Yeah. They they fucked up and put Cole in twice, and they got game characters like Raiden and Big Daddy and um, Hihachi from Tekken. Raiden. Yeah, Raiden from Metal Gear. Right. What? Yeah, because the, the white haired guy. Yeah, because yeah. Revela- um, not Revelation, Revengeance was coming out at the time, so it was like cross promotion. I mean, and that game was kind of terrible, but I mean, they could do it. Right. That's the point I'm proving. They, because obviously, once the game came out, people were like, "Where's this character? Where's that character?" Because yeah. Microsoft that's... could do it too. They could, but they, <laughs> but they won't. Because... It would just have Master Chief. Let's be serious. <laughs> it would be the Chief, whole the Gears of War people, 
any property from Rare. Uh, even then, even then, like, he, but here's my point with it. Yeah, you can have every character from Rare, but then you might as well just make Rare the fighting game. Yeah. Because ain't no one want no Microsoft characters. What, you're going to put Master Chief, um, the Gears, Gears guy, oh, the and then the car from Forza? Like, <laughs> Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Oh. I mean, What's you he could... gonna do? He's just gonna. Well, they, they, put, they put ri more ridiculous characters in um, Sony's one as well. So oh, I'll give Sony's them that. one's terrible. Ugh. They can at this point they can put the Minecraft Steve in there. Ugh. They could technically, but it's still on PS3 as well. Yes, yeah, so that seems fucking like a melt your solids game. on whatever. Bioshocks on whatever. Uh, I, I don't think they... they will. They're not smart enough. I think there's just not enough money in it. All Not enough money money. from Microsoft. No, in in a in a in a fighting game. They just don't want to do like it that. because they don't want to because they don't wanna, there's no point taking a risk for them. Because they don't take risks. Why do you think Halo Six is coming out? Uh. No, Halo Five took a risk and it failed miserably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It took a risk and they fucked that up because it was like because I was like in number four where there's like oh Cortana she's Dead. AI and she's dying and I was like. That's kind of a cool idea. So she, you know, becomes insane, dies, whatever. It's a cool concept. And then I watch some gameplay of Five, and I'm like, why is this bitch still alive? Uh, Different one. Different AI. Oh, um, okay. So they just pussied out. Yeah. No, that's that's it just kind of how... It's even in, like, the books and stuff. That's how it goes. The but books. What I, fuck off. <laughs> and what I was going to say, the biggest risk they took with Halo 5 was they took out Split Screen. Yes. That is the stupidest and thing. it did... Terrible. <laughs> Nobody fucking bought it. Oh my gosh. Why are they? This is the stupidest thing. To Wait. Do. So you're so you're telling? I know. I know. We said we were gonna end the podcast, but like. Yeah. So you're sorry. telling me, a a first person shooter franchise that, that redefined the first person shooter generation and the online experience of first person shooting decided to take out the idea of coach cap co op and the split screen. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're done. They're done. No, they're they're gonna bring it back for Halo Six. They've no, already, no, I was talking about Microsoft. I was talking about Microsoft. Bring it back. I was talking about Microsoft because I'm sorry. Once, once um, Cuphead comes out, you're done. No one cares. No one cares. Short, <laughs> short scale bounds coming out, but I, pff, whatever. No one's gonna care by then. People only care about Cuphead. That game already got moved back to 2017. That's the only game people uh -huh. are looking forward to. You're done. What games it's are you looking true. forward to on PS4? There's oh. only like three, and that's Indivisible, um, the Ratchet uh, re-release, the the, the reimagining game, yeah. and Hideo's games. That's what I'm looking for. No, I'm not looking forward to his game. <gasps> um, there is another game, um, Mercenary Kings. That's okay. it. Those are the only three games I would buy. So that's three. Mm. And then there's one that really interests you on the other console. You don't follow Microsoft stuff except to. Shit on it, generally speaking. I'm chilling on them as, in the sense of like their business practices. I know, I know you are, and I I agree to you. I agree with you to some extent, but I'm saying you're telling me there's nothing out there for Microsoft because they're not. There's no games coming out that interest anyone, but there are. Not for me because I don't give a shit because I have a 360. And I'm just loving my 360 backlog. But for a lot of people, a lot of good games are coming out. I think they are, but I think there's too few coming from both sides from Sony. Oh, definitely. Because it's 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 really piss poor. But I like to pick on Microsoft because I think they deserve it. Because they are. Well, I mean, Sony's just as evil as Microsoft, but at least they don't continually fuck themselves over and their fans over. I mean, that's the one thing. Yeah, we may support Nintendo and Sony, but at the same time, there's always a old gut, old evil money making bastard of a head. Who's like, get the money, get the money. Who is this? They're fucking... They don't give a shit. Mm. At the end of the day, those higher up guys don't give a shit about the games. They don't even play the games. They don't even care about the consumer. It's just, all you need to be concerned about is developers. But it's just like, I'm I'm poking fun at them because it feels more than ever that they really... They, they were so slow to start because they messed up at the beginning. And I don't think they deserve a break. No. Honestly, and I'm, I'm it's fine. A lot, I think I, I'm obviously they do good. Sure, I'll commend them on that. But they haven't, in my opinion. No. They haven't done anything good. That, hence why I went back to the whole quantum break thing, where it's like, yeah, you fucked your own game over. Exactly. You fucked it from the start, and now the game's out. 
and I brought this game up and you guys are like, what? And everyone listening to podcasts like, huh? this is a game? Huh? Mate, I bet you any money, most people are like, wait, this game was like announced three years ago? I, after looking at it, I remember... It, it's announcement. Oh yeah, and then it went into obscurity. I agree. It's they they butcher a couple of launches, mm. but it's it's one of those things. Neither company has any real games coming out. Nintendo's the only one oh, who has that's true. a fair study yeah. of games coming out. Oh yeah, and Nintendo's fair study of games is still piss poor. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just it's just it's fun to make fun of Microsoft because, like I said fair. before. You you thought you knew what people liked, and now you're gonna stay fucked for, for, for the idea. most part. Um, I think bottom line, current gaming right now piss poor. It is really in general really bad. You know it's bad when months go by and there ain't no game. Like you can you can you can even see it in um, the more popular YouTubers, the ones that have a <gasps> gameplay every week. You will notice that they don't have a lot to play now. They spend longer on these games, and they go back to others. Or you'll realise that most of the games that they're playing now Hmm. are already years old. That's the thing. Oh yeah, obviously people are always going to look back. That's always going to happen. The thing is, like, they hardly play any new games now. The only one that's nothing coming out. The only good one that's come out recently is XCOM Two, and that's PC only for now. And Metal Gear Solid, people like that game. Yeah, Yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Fallout 4. Fallout 4. Mm. No, I meant in this Arkham year though. Knight? This I mean, year he was I talking mean, about. Like, this, not even this year, like this month recently. Oh. Like, right. super recently. Still does. The only thing that came out last week was Dying Light the following, and that's DLC. And I think next week, next week, if I'm correct, is Street Fighter 5, and I believe the week after is Fire Emblem Fates for America. Okay. So that's a game a week, which is fine. I'm not. I'm not expecting fifty games a week. No, no. I'm. I'm just it's expecting time, at least. I'm expecting a little bit more consistency. That's all. Because you don't like the it's fine. Backs, right? It's fine. It's fine for there to be like you know dry spells happens all the time. But when it's like two months, three months, four months, Without but Sony's well. going get hyped, get hyped. <laughs> it's a little hard when my library's four games big. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's really hard. I mean, I've seen. I'm sure you've probably seen the meme where people have posted their PS4 collection, yeah. and it's just Bloodborne. They do. They do. <laughs> PS1, PS2, then PS4. That one. And I mean, obviously, you can defend that, but it if this continues, when we get to the fourth year, my our opinions, my opinions, whatever, is going to be more justified. Fifth year, a little bit more. Obviously, they'll speed it up, and yeah. they can bullshit about games getting more expensive to make, which. Well, is fucking bullshit because yeah. and even then the, the the bigger games coming up this year are the indies yes that's the thing yeah. indies are becoming more reliable source of games yeah. which is which goes back to sony's master plan hey indies we support you come over here yeah. <laughs> at least they got something right microsoft so they did bring in a night to indie games I guess I think I I imagine for an indie developer it must be at least nice for someone to be like, hey, we'll publish your game, we'll give you a little bit of funding as long as you make it exclusive on our console for hopefully for the time being. Yeah. But you know, you gonna say something, Therese? No, nah, it's just it's I agree. It's the the status of games now is piss poor, mm-hmm. and that's why I still don't have a new gen console. Don't the newest need it. console I have is Wii U. Hmm. And I think and you're fine I with that. that. Two years ago. You're fine. Yeah, Honestly, I'm you're fine. fine. With my you have a 3DS. Yeah. The, the only the only thing, like I've even said this, I am going to probably buy a copy of the new Ratchet and Clank game and buy it on Ace's PS4. I'm sorry, play it on his PS4. Hmm. And then I'm done. He's already buying Indivisible. And he's already going to buy Mercenary Kings. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> For the time being, obviously. <laughs> but we'll see. Raccoon, when you play uh, the Ratchet and Clank PS4 game, let me know, and I'll just go back and play Ratchet and Clank one on the PS2. Yeah, we could we could do something <laughs> like that. I'll probably try and play both simultaneously, um, see how they fare because the movie's coming out as well. Yeah, is that May? I think so. I think so. Because I, I rig- that, originally it was meant to come out last year, but they pushed it back. I yeah. think because of the game. But um, looking forward to that and the Sly movie as well. I don't know where the fuck that is. Yeah. Did Whenever. It, yeah, it's just 2016. The trailer came out two years ago, and it's like, oh, okay, 
Can I can I get another trailer, please? Can I get some confirmation, please? I think they might be waiting until to see how Ratchet does. That's the thing I hate the most. Um, it's not the that. same studio animating, I don't believe. No, but Sony is the one who's publishing. Funding. I would imagine. Yeah, I would imagine, but um, I forget who's actually making the slime movie. But I know it's the same people who are doing the 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 reboot reboot. So um, yeah. Interesting times. Yeah, we had yep. a nice, fun discussion there. <laughs> so, should we end it now? Or do you want to bring up some other stories real quick? No, I, I think that's... Uh, I'm good with that. No, that's, no, it's it's good. fine. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. But um, I guess uh, I'll end it from here. I am the Angry Raccoon. I am Ferret. And I am Tourette's. And we will see you on the next one. Dewey. Hasta luego. Oh god, I deleted it. Oh my god, five dollars now. Nah. <laughs> wow, wait, that can't be. Wait, is that how many they've lost? That's how much they got now. Still, they can't have just three million. Three, wait, wait, what? Three million? That says three million. They must have lost three million. What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about another person. The um, oh. the Fine Brothers like uh, subscriber count. That would have oh, been yeah, funny. They lost like three million. <laughs> that would have been kind of I don't think. No, I think no, they've no, lost no. about a million. But they've it, lost okay. about. Of nearly four million. Jeez. Well, yeah. they deserve it. Uh, I'm gonna love. I, I want them to post their like their bank statement for that month. <laughs> wow. <laughs> see, like, That's cruel. <laughs> all the money go. Yeah. What? Did, someone's gonna hack them or something like that. They still keep did going. Did you guys down. see the um? Uh, did you when that all was going on? Did you see all those websites popping up where it's like watch subscriber loss? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, saw that. That's how those. I spent that whole great. day. I was just <laughs> looking, eating popcorn, eating fucking, drinking. Yeah, I legit left it open for about a day. Same. Unfortunately, the one I was using kept crashing. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, like, they got so much over, like, so many people went to watch. Just Their servers were on fire. That's a piss take. Yeah. Oh, okay. And all their videos have got like hundreds of dislikes and stuff. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Um...